Hello there. How are you all doing? Hopefully, uh, everyone can hear me all right. A uh, bit of a slightly different setup. I need a desk space here, so the microphone is on a stand, on which is all piled on several piles of books, so that it doesn't get in the way of the desk. Uh, hello, we can hear you. Good. Okay. Uh... Can we have another episode of Designing Circuit soon? I will do another one. Um, I wanted to do this first. I mean, depending on how long it takes to make this, maybe there will be time to to fit that in at the end as well. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, I got this for Christmas and I have I thought it would be fun to maybe try making it on a stream and we can just hang out and talk about whatever's going on in F1 at the moment. I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, things are, it was very quiet over Christmas, abnormally quiet even for F1 over winter break standards. But I mean, everything is beginning to get going now because uh, we've seen the news with Haas firing Gunter Steiner. Car launches have been announced. There's some kind of naming crisis going on with Alpha Tauri and Sauber. But yeah. Um, when do you think you'll do the 80s drivers videos? Uh, video... This year, we'll say, I mean, a vid that's probably going to take about a month to make, but yeah, that's one of the big ones that will come out this year. Uh, and hello to everyone joining, good nearly 30 people. Okay, let's just get going. Um, I've never, I haven't played with Lego for about 20 years, so uh, this is going to be quite interesting. Um, I did once make a scale model of downtown New York City out of Lego, back when I had an obsession with architecture and buildings. Um, I didn't have many proper kits, though. I usually just had a lot of hand-me-down random bits of Lego, and I would use it to just make whatever. Uh, but anyway, let's see what we got in here. Hmm. Yeah, this may not take that long to make, I don't think. Um, but we'll get started, and yeah. If it doesn't take too long, I'm sure... Oh, decals. Nice. Uh, there'll be time to fit something else in as well. Uh, out of curiosity, how long do you spend researching for a video? Um, it depends on the video. Um, so the one that came out yesterday, uh, give it a watch if you haven't yet. Um, that took, I started researching that around New Year and it's been just under three weeks it took to make. So probably a week of research and script writing and all the research I had to do, to be honest, was look up each race, just the race result, lap chart and just the basic information and write that down. So it wasn't too complex. Um, what took ages was finding all the pictures. Um, right, let's look at the instructions for this. Uh... Yeah, I did Lego, like, I had, um, what I really did was connects. That was, um, that was what I, uh, I did a lot of. And, because I used to watch Robot Wars, and then I would, um, I'd make connects robots that had, like, flippers on them and stuff with proper, new, well, not working pneumatic rams, but one, a, a simulated one, and I liked the mechanism. Um... Yeah, I'm trying. I'm already a bit puzzled. Uh, I can't tell if it's giving me instructions or it's just telling me, giving me an inventory. Um, oh, actually, no. I think we're getting. We've got something. I have to make the little person first. I shouldn't be stumped by something like this. It's age nine and up. I think it said. Uh, will there be a part two? Yes, there will be. Um, I considered doing either this or that last weekend, but um, it just. I wasn't feeling quite up to it um but yeah while we've got free weekends uh before the, all the races start um i want to use them up doing streams i think um oh, i love this the little lego guy it just says like porsche motorsport very very fine detail on that um god i haven't Ooh, that's part of the helmet. Okay, there's yes, there's a lot going on here. Um, okay, I've got the head. I need the legs. 
This was always the hard part with Lego, was actually finding everything you needed and you could lose it all so easily. Uh, ooh, there's the head. Um, and then helmet, or oh, we need the hair first. Oh, there are the legs, okay. Helmet, legs. I should build one of the bigger technique sets soon. I want like, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing this with like a proper F1 car, but I've seen, I saw like the guy, there were people over Christmas who would post a picture, they got like a Lego Concorde. I was like, that's something I'd love. Something really, really big. Um, or like, I don't know, a Lego, a Lego Titanic. That would be cool. Uh, it's weird, they've split all of the, the, the little man is split into different parts, which is all a bit odd into different bags. It's not all just one together. Uh, okay. That helmet visor as well. Oh, goodness. Oh, the helmet doesn't actually go on, I don't think. Oh, you can swap it with the hair. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, we'll take the hair off. Uh, where would I find the visor for this? Um... Oh, there's the visor. Lego Concord can't be good for your bank account. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's not. It, that would be pretty expensive. I mean, I did like, yeah, I, I did Lego a bit. I did, as a kid, I made a lot of Airfix kits because my dad is quite involved in like Airfix and the whole business and stuff. And so we've always had a lot of those around the house. And as a kid, I used to make a lot of those. That's obviously a lot more technical than, than Lego. Um, but yeah, I didn't have many proper kits. Ooh, so we got... Just the spanner, and then we got a little mechanic slash driver slash whatever he's meant to be. Yeah, this is already taking me back now, is, is having to roam through these bags looking for one part, when in my case, it was an enormous plastic crate that I had to use, that I just kept everything in. And you'd get through there, and your hands would be all, like, grazed and cut from clawing your way through... Uh, through Lego blocks. I'm trying to find one tiny little part. Um, that's all car, I think. Or... Oh god, okay, that's I think this this bag is all this bag's all bits of car that um Steering wheel, yeah, spanner. Oh, four nice nights. Thank you very much, Alex HM. Have a beer on me. I will. Thank you for the, the five pounds. Um, where is it? Okay, let's screw the spanner. We've got our little we got our little man. Um, so we'll keep that there. That's the first thing up. Yeah, there we go. Proper instructions. I haven't. Yeah, this, this hasn't changed since I was a kid. I think. Uh, so that's what we start with. This. So we got the base of the. Or oh, this is essentially the floor. Um, it even looks almost like a wooden, like the kind of wooden skid plank, almost on the bottom. Uh, I need to find a little wedge shape that goes on top of that. Um, oh boy, uh, oh no, don't, don't, don't all start falling out. How come you had to re-edit the volume? Um, okay, this is a story. Um, I'll talk while trying to concentrate on this. So basically, um, it was in November, it got suddenly demonetized or reduced from fully monetized to only off premium viewers. So I lost most of the money I was making off of it. Um, when I, I put a, I made an appeal and they rejected it and they said the problem was the thumbnail. And then I looked at, and so I thought, okay, I'm wondering what that is. And the only thing I could think that would have been a problem was because it says boys don't wear dresses obviously referring to the, the famous Lewis Hamilton quote on Instagram. It's like, okay, maybe they've read that out of context and thought that's what the problem is. I then appealed that again and they rejected it again. And then I actually emailed Google and asked for a direct explanation of what was wrong. 
Um, and they explained to me that basically I violated it because of sexual content. And they gave me a timestamp. And what it was, was it's the bit on Robert Dornboss and Kiru. Um, and obviously, because I jokingly... I made it sound like I was advertising his sex toys, basically, in a sort of joking way. And so it was a 10 second segment in a two and a half hour long video. And for that reason, they demonetized it. Um, I said, OK, well, if I cut this, can you remonetize it? And they said, no, because you've used up your allocated, not allocated number of appeals. Um, so I thought, OK, screw this. I'll just re-upload it, cut that out, cut the, adver the sponsorship out of the beginning, and then it just put it back up again. Uh, and it's doing all right, to be honest. It's up to what 200k when the original video was about 700k um so that's that's what it was but yeah it wasn't they they really were not very helpful at, at in terms of specifying what the problem was and yeah i could have fixed it faster but they just didn't help very much um oh this is going well i just need to find like a little it's just a tiny little like yeah first bit just a tiny little wedge like that. That's all I've got to find. And I can't find that already. This was... Yeah, this was what I hated when I was messing around with Lego as a kid. Um, just trying to find this. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> um, trying try to find this stuff. Okay, this is, a this is symmetrical, so it goes on either side. I guess that, that's supposed to be the seat. I don't know. Um... Two, okay, now we need the little, no, a couple of little red lights. Uh, who do you think will win WEC title this season? I don't know. WEC is not my strength. Um, particularly now, because we have, well, for a while it was just Toyota, wasn't it, for years? Just kind of stat padding, competing against themselves. Um, and then now we've got, um, what, Aston Martin are doing hypercar, aren't they? And then, what was that American one that was doing, that came into Le Mans as well? We've got, so there's more, there's more competition, essentially. I haven't got a clue, though, because I, I, wa I watch Le Mans, but I don't watch any other endurance races. And, like, I used to know more about Le Mans than F1, but this is before I started watching F1. And most of what I learned was from playing Gran Turismo, essentially, and then... Uh, that's something that kind of uh, Automobilistic has perfected because he does videos about all the cars that we used to play on Gran Turismo. Uh, that's not the right piece. Okay, well, I've got two of the right pieces. Um, these little lights. Two little right angle pieces I need, and two white, two block small ones. There's probably technical terms for each of the d d piece designs, but I haven't got a clue what they are. Um, although this bag looks more promising for uh, that's grey. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, that's that's it. That's one. Um, let's put that on there. Two pounds from James Dunn. Madness. Thank you for the time to explain. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it was it was a bit of a scandal. It's stuff like that that does kind of concern me because this... Obviously, doing this as a job, there are a lot of benefits, but um, it's, uh, it's just... There's not much in the way of job security compared to being actually employed by somebody. Um... Mm. I mean, for, the, the, hypothetically, you know, the channel could get demonetized tomorrow and then I'm screwed because I could theoretically try to do what Rocket Pad Mohawk did and try and tempt everyone over to Patreon, which he's done and he's done exceptionally well. Uh, but I think I'd be lucky to get more than about 100 people out of the nearly 30,000 followers I've got that would do that. Um, so, I, uh, yeah, it would be a tricky one. I don't know what I'd, I don't know what I'd, what I would do. Uh, they, they, they won't know. I mean, it, it's not. It's, people only get demonetized if they're doing something that's illegal or if they're having, you know, they're expressing political opinions that YouTube doesn't like or something like that. Um, not for Formula One. Uh, two of these.
After Red Bull dominance ends, who do you think will be the next champions? It could be anyone. It seems like we're stuck in this, this kind of position of just uh, one team or driver takes turns dominating, um, depending on the rule changes. So Max, um, I mean, I, I recorded a podcast with someone yesterday previewing 24. Max is going to take an easy fourth title this year. Uh, more than likely, Red Bull will take Constructors. Probably the same in 25. Uh, 26, who knows? I mean, I've seen previews of the cars, and they're very stout. They've taken it um, short. Like, the the, the the wheelbase and the car length is much shorter, but they're just as wide, so they look really stocky. Like, even more so than the pre-98 cars did. So that's going to be interesting. Um, how much that improves the racing? It'll make it easier to get them to work their way around Monaco, but... I don't know what else it will improve. Is that broken? No, that's not. That looked like it was broken. Um, I need like one tiny little stepped piece to try and find. And this is going to... Yeah, these are so hard to find. Oh, ooh, that's one. Actually, I say that and then I spot it immediately. Um... Mm, shame about RPM was good at the start then went all political now it's just unpleasant to watch I mean yeah RPM obviously he he's found his niche um and you know I it's not obviously I get that his his comedy and what he said it's not for everyone but I I think it's funny broadly speaking and on Patreon he tends to censor himself even less and he talks about a lot of stuff that he he has a, he finds a way of linking things that have nothing to Formula One to it in a sort of facetious way um as well i mean he's yeah he's obviously tapped into a style of comedy regarding formula one that there is clearly a market for and it's worked for him because we started making videos at the same time and his subscriber count is 10 times bigger than mine uh so yeah um two white at least with the white parts you can spot them easily in this they're not hard to find two of these i need um goes on there another uh, and then the little see-through lights we need one of those um Knew he should set down there as a new engineer in town. I guess he mean knew he should step down. I mean, he's he's taking a bit of a step back. I mean, he's in his 60s now. Um, we don't see him as much. On He's not so much of a presence in the paddock, I guess, as he was. Um, but he's just, it's just, he still just knows what he's doing. It's weird how... Because I've read his book and... It make he makes it look so easy because he has a way of explaining things. Um, in a, he goes into a huge amount of detail, but he explains it in a way that's very easy to understand. And you look at this and you think there must be a lot more than what he's saying that goes on into aerodynamics here because he's making that it, it doesn't sound like you need a whole engineering degree to work this stuff out. That's what he's he's he has he's that's why he's really good at explaining it. Um, in a way you can understand and in a way that actually goes into a lot of detail explaining the principles behind da downforce and aerodynamics and the real specifics about how each of the cars he made differed because I like at a glance the casual observer can't tell most Formula One cars apart but even for me it, trying to find visual differences between two very similar ones is tricky like put the MP413 and the MP414 in front of me I won't know which one's which other than the other than the driver numbers, because obviously number one, one the the fourteen is going to have number one on it if it's Hakkinen's car. But there is, but if you, it, it, he explains the differences, and suddenly you notice things you wouldn't have seen before. So, for example, between the ninety five and the ninety six, or maybe the ninety six and ninety seven Williams, um, he separates the air box from the roll hoop, which hadn't been done before, and it's something just subtle that you wouldn't necessarily glance at at first. Because I guess my point of reference for recognising Formula 1 cars is to look at the, the nose cone and the front wing. That's usually the first thing I go to to try and differentiate ones that are very similar. Um, 
What am I doing now? Black narrow four piece, two of those. Um, uh, it's hard to tell exactly what part of the car this is that I'm making. I'm assuming it's where the, the that's the seat in there where the driver goes, but it um, it's difficult. There's a lot going on if this is all internal. A lot of different parts. Um, is Nui's book interesting to read for the normally F1 fan? It is. Yeah, it goes... It's it's Again, it's very easy to understand. It goes into so much detail um, and explains everything in a really engaging way. Because obviously, as well as um, having sections where he explains the actual principles of aerodynamics and how he came up with all of his brainwaves and loopholes, it just talks about his career in general. And so it, it, it will cover... Um, things like, you know, uh, his time in IndyCar, Imola, Imola 94, um, why he left Williams, his fallout with Ron Dennis, all of that gets explained as well. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good, it's a really good read. Um, I've amassed quite a large collection of F1 related books, a lot of biographies, and I haven't read most of them yet. I had, I read L Lewis's one that came out in 2007, which I'm guessing was probably shadow written for him. Um, I read that several times when I was a teenager um, and maybe need to read it again because that goes into a massive amount of detail about his. This is when I thought I could still be a racing driver at like 15. Um, and I was like, oh, well, if I read this and I can, he can explain exactly how he got started in karting and the competitions he did and how it moved up from there. And he does do that in there. Um, and then I think it it does cover 2007. I need to read it again because I'm, I know that, you know, everyone knows that there was some fishy stuff going on in 2007 in those last couple of races and he's kind of hinted at that because I remember him asking about it being asked about it and he basically said um I didn't know if he knew anything was going on he said I didn't know then but I do now it's not something I can talk about so uh yeah that's what we need is then is um one if he does write after he retires if he does write this memoir everyone is going to want to read it because hopefully he'll spill the tea on that and he'll also explain the controversy around the mechanic swap that he had with Rosberg in 2016 because he's hinted at that, that there was something fishy going on as well. And Rosberg, under, under, interestingly enough, was a very positive about that, which wouldn't surprise me, because he then he suddenly he stopped having all the retirements and the mechanical breakdowns that year. Um, okay. Right, one of these, another little two-piece one... Uh, no, that's not it. You'll get to see my concentration face while I'm doing this now as well. Uh, at one point, I was even considering doing a stream of me making the video, like, but that would have probably not been very... I wouldn't have talked much, and it wouldn't have been that interesting because it would have just shown you film more and me adding pictures in and stealing them off Google Images and, yeah... Uh, um, is that nope? Smooth top ones I need. His exact thought process going into Abu Dhabi twenty one be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's well, obviously, all of that. That's all you know. It, it's dying down and most people have moved on, but this is it's going to be one of those events where in 10, 15 years, it's, people are going to look back on it and be like, what was that? And, and yeah. Um, but like, his, the closest you can get in terms of understanding mentality, because you can watch, if you have F1 TV, you can watch race replays with um, the, uh, with um, the onboards, with their radio communication. So you can hear in real time what they were saying to their race engineer. And stuff like that. Um, and with Lewis, obviously, you know, there's the famous this race is getting manipulated man after he tried to get past back back past Max. And then he just sits in his car for a, a minute at the end, not moving. And yeah, um, I think a lot of people were thinking maybe he would retire because he went offline for such a long time um, as well. Uh 
but I think, yeah, obviously, I think, I mean, all the drivers need time away from social media and they get that at this time of year, but um, he, him deleting all of his followers was very odd, unfollowing everybody except his dog. I didn't really understand that because obviously when, when there was the boys don't wear dresses scandal, he deleted all of his tweets and Instagram posts and that I don't really get. And we've seen more recently, you know, Alpha Tauri, they deleted their Instagram account yesterday after they put up that barely legible username so it's it oh god this and, and mclaren they've del they've wiped everything as i guess part of their fresh start with the same drivers and what's probably going to be basically the same car and a new livery which doesn't look any different from the old one and is supposed to be a homage to um marlborough the marlborough livery even though it looks nothing like it because all the colors are wrong um, I mean, it's probably the last time we'll see that livery anyway, because we know them. They're going to have a different livery at every single race. So beyond testing, we're not going to see that livery again. Um, oh, I've done this wrong. Oh, no. Um, I wasn't meant to put that on there. That's what you get for talking while trying to make Lego. Um, why is it so hard to find the, just the two two block black ones now there were loads of those before uh have you thought about ranking every pole position holder as in as drivers or as qualifiers like that's a lot of drivers um I've never crossed that. That one hasn't crossed my mind. That one's possibly too, a bit too broad. I mean, I've, I've considered in the past ranking every champion, but that's basically the same as ranking who t saying who you think is the best driver. Uh, other YouTubers have tried that. Um, and on the DRS train podcast, actually, it's coming out soon. Or Well, the first part came out today, actually. We did a two-parter where somebody else had ranked all of the champions and we assessed it and gave our take on it. Um but yeah, doing something, that's the tricky one. And then every pole sitter, that's that's well over 100 drivers, isn't it? Uh, from all different eras, it would be a difficult one. Um, right. Why, why can't I find these? Um, uh, is everything going to fall out of this if I... Ooh, we got some in here. Okay, where did I open this one? Oh, I never opened this one, okay. Oh no, oh no, I did open this one and everything's just fallen out. Um, okay, um, let's get those back in here. Actually get the parts I know I do need. I need this bag. can stay out. Is that bag number one at the at near the camera you should be using? Uh, maybe. Well, I've had a look in that one and I can't see any of the pieces I need, but this little one's got... I definitely saw a couple of the ones I need. Um... Oh, I thought I could see ones I need. Maybe they're not in there. Oh, they're not in that bag. Great. Um, oh, this is annoying. Um, yeah, this definitely takes me back. Just endlessly scrawling through bits of Lego trying to find the piece that you need. So much easier with Airfix because everything's attached to those like frames and you have to cut them off. That was always much easier to deal with. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it, it was in this bag, just not in the little, the little one. Built this model last year. I loved every second. Mine is the application of all the damn stickers. Yeah, this would be that'll be interesting. Um, when I did Airfix, you had to dip them in water, the decals, to make them stick on, and I it was always that was always a mess because once you get them on, you can't get them off again if you do it wrong. Um, and I always used too much glue, and so they always just looked messy. Um,
No, oh no, it's not. It's got a little. I want that, but without the little like clip on it. Um, I feel like it's staring me in the face. It is staring me in the face. There's one here. <sighs> right. Um, I need two of those. Please let there be another one. Yep. Okay. All that time they're in this tiny little bag right in front of me. Um, okay. We'll put that on there and then that goes on here. Yep. Um, oh, we've got something entirely new. So this, well, this is the first section. I guess this is the seat slash floor. We've got that done. Now we have to get started on a different piece. Um, and of course we've got the drop, we got the mechanic slash driver. Um, are you excited for F2 with this with great dives competing, especially the Prima inter-team battle between Bem and Anselli? Yeah, it, for F2 is always fun, and this year we do have a especially strong grid. Um, obviously, the first two signings we got were Antonelli and um, Colapinto. It's like, okay, well, that's already a huge... That's also already a very high standard. Um, obviously, Antonelli is the one everyone's looking for because he's like the Max Verstappen of his generation. Is, is he going to sink or swim? A um, couple of... Obviously, there's always... It's always a mix. I mean, we signed Rafael Villagomez... Um, Oh, Rafael Villa Gomez signing, and oh, that's a random one. I mean, he's what spent like three, three seasons in F3 and scored like three points. But there is a, there are a lot of really interesting drivers in Formula Two this year. Um, have you got a tray you can pour the bag onto? Uh, no tray. Although, well, suppose it's not gonna it's not gonna spill off. Um, but I just thought it's a bit less messy if it's not all over the table. Um, but now I just need to find this one. I need to find that and that's quite a large piece so i'm just wondering where that's gone to um uh, unless it's still in the box no it's not in the box um that's the visor Where has that gone? I bet you guys can see it and I can't. Um, do you think McLaren can challenge Red Bull? Ish. Um, I think they will be. I'm. My prediction, I think things are, we're basically going to pick up where we left off because we've got the same, well, same teams and same drivers. I think McLaren are going to finish second in the constructors. There will be a win at least for one of those two. Either Norris or Piastri are going to get their first win. When and where it happens. Um, I said... Because I, I, I predicted a minimum of 15 wins for Max. There, there it is. Um, a minimum of 15 wins for Max. Um, it's probably going to be a hell of a lot more than that. I think him winning every race is an extremely tall order because we saw that um, it, it was. It obviously wasn't meant to be because in, in Singapore they just weren't fast enough and that was the only circuit they were weak at. In the same way that in the Mercedes era, Singapore was a weak point. In the original Red Bull era, uh, Monza was a weak point, that sort of thing. Uh, it, you, you can't build a perfect car that's always fastest, especially when the field spread is as narrow as it is. That's the thing that's even more remarkable about the level of dominance, is the cat that this is... He, he's beaten the level of dominance that we saw in 88 and 93 and 92 when they were like two seconds a lap faster than everyone else, not three or four tenths. Um, uh white par and then we need a little four-way block Ooh, that there it is found that fast that's good and that goes underneath this is obviously one of the axles that goes on there um long red bits easy what's your favorite hrt memory hmm uh, well, I suppose one of my favourites is going to Silverstone in 2011 and 2012 and getting to see them in the flesh. Um, that was obviously, that was a highlight. Um, and that, that kind of inspired me to do my original excruciating detail race documentary things because I got to see them every single lap and see their own battles at the back. Um, uh, I think Kartikeyan 
uh, Carter Kane getting up as hard, like getting up to sixth or whatever it was in Malaysia. That's a bit of a highlight because it got him some screen time and a bit of action, um, even if he couldn't really fight with anyone. Um, Carter Shum, hello, Peter. Hello. I think I know who you are from Twitter based off that, that profile picture, but yes. Yeah, so, yeah, hello, man. Um, but beyond that, yeah, it is a bit... The rest of most of... Uh, as much as I love them, most of their career... Most of their top races were running around in last, hinting at being close to version of Russia, and then, you know, getting laps a lot and breaking down or whatever. Um, speaking of, that is actually going to be my next video. Is What I've done is um, I'm going to take... The three parts are on HRT, and um, uh, I've condensed it down into one video that's 90 minutes long by taking out all of the... And on this lap, they pitted here, and then so-and-so passed them here, and blah, blah, blah. And so it, it summing up each race in maybe a paragraph instead of a whole page. And so I can fit all three seasons down, and this way it's just a bit less... You can hear the entire history of the team in 90 minutes, um, and it's not so excruciating to listen to. And it's something that can be uploaded easily and quickly because all I have to do is cut the script down, re-record it, and I've got all the images and videos I need already. Because uh, I, before I did the driver of the day, my first plan, I was going to do a video where I was going to talk about every single circuit in F1 history. I got six or seven uh, tracks in and it was up to 4,000 words. And I was like, okay, this could be like more than three hours long. So I think this one will have to wait for the moment because there are 75 circuits and it was it was looking at being a very, very long video. Uh, but I'll do that one at some point. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, knew, I knew I needed something that could be done reasonably fast just to get the ball rolling after Christmas. Um, okay, two, two big grey pieces cut that one into two parts the circuits one maybe i will have to yeah if i if i get once i get the whole script done and it's like forty thousand words it's like yeah that's gonna have to be split in into two uh I, it's not something i like to do but i probably should I, th I keep thinking oh i can go longer because i got the idea of ranking every driver from a decade because um i saw a video where somebody ranked every single episode of the simpsons in four hours and that got a lot of views and i was like okay there is a market for doing big, long ranking videos, so I guess I'll just test myself and see how how big I can make them. But, in, I mean, those videos, I'll do them. It's worth doing them because I know they'll do well, but I do kind of hate making them because they take such a long time to make. And recording them is, is hell. It takes a whole day to record the script and then a whole day to cut cut the audio down on afterwards. Um, goodness, okay, a lot of panel pieces now we need, um, one of the, I need six, I need six of these, uh, I'm not ranking every circuit, I'm just describing them, um, I'm just gonna go, I'm going alphabetically by country, so when I did the first seven, I've done, like, Buenos Aires, the two Aussie ones, Bahrain, Baku, Belgium, just that, I'm just doing it that way. Um, I was going to do it alphabetically by name, but then also that depend that order changes depending on what um, language you're using, because you know there's Altadromo, Nazionale di Monza, and you know Circuit di Monaco, and they all have different names um, for like what, like Altadromo Jose Carlos Pache, that everyone calls that Interlagos, and yeah, that sort of thing. Um, Uh, is another iceberg in the making? No, but it will be soon. I'm trying to decide. I might get some videos out the rest, of the remainder of this month. I'm considering trying to get a third iceberg before Bahrain, and then I saw that Bahrain was the first weekend in, um, in March. And I was like, okay, that's not very long away. That's about six weeks away. So that it might be too late for that already, and I don't want to go six weeks without uploading anything. Um, so I will. I'll find. A, I'll find a window. I need time, obviously, to research. I need to then say to everyone, um, you know, give me your best ideas for what you want because I've used up a lot of my best ideas in the first two. I've got a lot in reserve, but I then I need to think, okay, is this something I can actually understand what they're what they're referring to and and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, there will be one, but yeah, icebergs because of how long they take to make, they're kind of a once a year kind of deal. 
Uh, I need the little panel, like, right angle ones. Um, this just makes me think of um, Top Gear when they're making the kit car racing the Stig up to Knock Hill. And Jeremy's like, why would anyone like doing this? You're stuck in the garage all day. Your wife's left you. She's in bed with the milkman. You're like, oh, where's my front suspension unit? And and that. You just try to find... Okay, there's one. Uh, I need to find the other panel. Yeah, two of those. Good. Um... I should rank all the tracks. Probably should. Yeah, maybe once... Um, uh, maybe I'll do the summary video and then the ranking. I won't need to go... I, could, I won't need to talk about them as much. Uh, the difficulty with that is that a lot of them have changed quite drastically in terms of layout because for the, for the purposes of this video, I've considered... Um, uh, I've considered the Nürburgring as one circuit, even though there's the Nordschleife and the, the Grand Prix track. Um, but obviously those are just different variations on it. Um, and the same with Kyle Army, the two different circuits, they share the back straight, but otherwise they're entirely different as well. Um, and then if I start splitting it into different variations, that's a huge rabbit hole. And I've put this on wrong, I think. Yep, I've definitely put this on wrong. Oh, it's meant to go over one place. And this is where I need longer fingernails. This was, a, again, a nightmare because you sometimes had... I remember having a piece that was like a sort of horse, um, a shoe horn to try and break these off. If you put them on wrong... Um, uh, do you think Russell will be chucked out on Mercedes after this season? No, there's no there's no reason to, to get rid of him at the moment. I mean, he's he could be a bit less destructive, yes. Generally speaking, it's very, like... Him and Lewis, they're close in a way, maybe because they're not fighting for the title, they're close in a way that they're not really tripping over each other too much in the same way that him and Rosberg did. They just have, they seem to alternate weekends where one, one of them is better than the other. Um, but George, yeah, he's still doing, I think he, 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 it gets to his head a bit more because, you know, he's younger, he's got more of his career ahead of him and he's, he, he's been, everyone was waiting very anxiously for him to get that seat and now he's got it and so he probably he feels that expectation to perform and obviously lewis is not going to be around for forever my guess is that lewis will retire at the end of 26 and then george takes over assuming he still stays with them and then that is would be a very good time for someone like Kimi antonelli to join mercedes um that's yeah how have i gone wrong again what have i done oh no um oh wait three yeah oh god i've gone wrong twice uh that's better that's what i meant to do uh it's all this talking just distracting me um i want to see piastri beat beat norris I'm, i'll be honest i can just i can just feel piastri winning a race before lando like, it's going to happen, I think. Look, yeah. I mean, he, he strictly speaking, did. If you, if you count the sprint race as a win, how can I break this off without breaking the whole thing apart? Um, if you count that as a win, then he has technically done it, but it's a sprint race. It doesn't really count as a win on their record. Um, off, 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 off. And, ugh. Oh, why isn't that attaching? These are these ones are a bit of a bitch to get on. The really narrow ones. Uh, on on. Uh, who would they replace him with? Uh, well, one, one of those two, either George or Lewis at some point is going to have their seat taken over by Kimi Antonelli. Uh, that, like, Vesti's not getting... 
Paul Aaron just left the Mercedes Academy. Vesti's not getting an F1 seat. I mean, he's moving to IMSA or WEC, isn't he? LMP2, I think. Um, yeah, Kimi Antonelli is going to take over from one of those two at some point. Um, yeah, 26 is going to be... 25, we're going to have a very, very interesting silly season because so many drivers' contracts are up for renewal and um, uh, everyone's going to want to try and find... anticipate who's going to be good off the bat with the new regulations. So it's going to... It's going to create a lot of chaos if you think that this year we've had no transfers of it at all, unless you count Ricardo and De Vries. Um, hmm. Need two more of these. Needs ones. Uh, let's see. It would be just my luck if it's literally missing, like it's not in the kit at all because they haven't got the numbers right. Uh, is Mick getting back into Formula 1? No, he's not. It didn't happen. He can maybe... He's going into hypercar, isn't he? He could, like... Maybe he can sort of uh, try and emulate his father in his years in uh, World Sports Cars to have a Mercedes. Because Formula 1, it just didn't... It just didn't happen, unfortunately. Uh, but Haas is, is a death trap. It's just... It's, it's, it's a dead end, and yeah... People should avoid them like the plague. Uh, uh, let me see. When are custom circuit streams coming back? Soon. Um, I wanted to do this one first. I was considering maybe at the end of this stream doing a bit of that, but this is probably going to take quite some time if I want to finish this today. Um, maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Um, I think I was meant to be doing a podcast tomorrow, but that may have been moved to Monday. So I, but yeah, there will be more of those. And I've got other, some other cities I want to attempt to do and just mess around. Afterwards, I was inspired to fill out some more circuits I could find. So I did, I, 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 I plotted the entire Isle of Man TT course. I didn't realize it was 30 miles long. I thought it was linear as well, but I, it shows how little I know about the Isle of Man TT. Um, and there were, there were a lot of, um, because in the 1950s, the non-championship races, they used to do them on the Isle of Wight. There was a circuit that went around Douglas um, in five different configurations. Part of it, the start-finish straight in the, is of the TT course is actually part of that circuit. And it went around the streets of Douglas on the Isle of Man, um, one of the many non-championship F1 circuits from the 50s and 60s. Uh I just need one more of the these panel pits with two clippers on it. Uh, Iceberg Part 3, God, a lot of people are asking. Um, it will happen. I haven't started it yet in any way, other than the fact that I I will look on my... I have a, a file that has all of the, informa the kind of facts and subjects that I haven't used yet, and I'll go through those and see what I can fill it out with. But I, I'm not working on the Iceberg at the moment, but it will come out this year. Why can't they just put everything in the same bag that's the same type of piece? They're all mixed up. Um, you get some in one bag and then some in another. Uh, have I missed any questions? No, okay. Good. Uh... I feel like it's staring me in the face. I just need one more of these. And yeah, can't see it anywhere. Uh, I saw some interesting entries in your comment section. Yeah, I will need to, I'll need to go through those, um, those videos and look at the comments and see what ideas people can give me and also ask for ideas too. Um, there was some, I mean, I, I remember after the first iceberg, someone sent me one, it was Pole Diresta, and I googled this, and I thought it was going to be something from Reddit, and nothing came up, and I was like, okay, I don't understand the reference at all, because Paul Diresta never came anywhere near, you know, getting Pole. As a driver, the only things I really remember about him was that he seemed to think very highly of himself, and he had some very bizarre, he, he tended to run extremely long stints, like first stints, back when you couldn't really do that. 
and very rarely did that work in that run a long stint, do a one stop, and then gain positions in the second one. Um, give us a bold prediction for next season. A bold prediction. Uh, I was going to say one of the Alpines wins a race, but they've both already done that. Um, I guess I said before that Norris would win a race before Lando. That would be one. I could legitimately see Checo being dropped mid-season pro and re probably swapping with Ricardo, or possibly being dropped completely, and then Lawson takes Ricardo's seat at Alpha Tauri. That looks like maybe that's what they're setting up. Um, where is this piece? Um, Norris, did I say Norris? Piastri before Lando. That's what I meant to say. Um... Oh, God, this is a not... I'm completely stumped because I'm just missing one little panel piece. Um, which I feel... I'm just going to pour it all out. Probably a lot easier um, to sift through. Opinions on Visa Cash App, Red Bull. Well, yeah, it's... I, I See... It's stuff like that and what they've done at Sauber that makes me want to be like a really authoritarian FIA president and just ban teams from putting sponsors in their name. And even ones that, when it's fucking like crypto and online gambling and all that garbage. Like if we're not allowed to have alcohol, alcohol or tobacco sponsors, we shouldn't also be allowed to have gambling websites. That's the way I see it, especially crypto ones. It's just like I get I get that, you know, F1 and any sport we need um, teams depend on sponsors. I understand that, but you don't need to basically completely just be deep throating them all the time and making it all about the sponsor and not about the actual team and the sport and the, the driving. So just seeing, you know, Steiner having to do those photo shoots with that like home shopping magazine with the Steiner ship and cheesy bollocks like that. Um Nothing's on the floor. Um, hi, Peter. Hello, Mayo is Glue. You're one of my Patreons, I believe, or you were or still are. Uh, this may have made it worse. I feel like it's literally, unless it's when I poured it out, it slid away under here... Under my real name. Oh, okay. Um, that's the other axle. Okay, well, this has ground things to a halt completely now. Um, Hmm. I'm going to grab the camera, so I'm looking for one of these ones. I'll just bring it up and over, see if anyone can spot it uh, anywhere around here. Because I cannot see, I can't see one of those, like a, a square block with only two clips on it. Um... I don't think it's in one of the bags still. Those are all the much smaller pieces. That's all wheels. Uh, yeah. Under the cock. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you to Mayu as glue for the five dollars. Thank you very much. Uh, it would have been under the bloody visor wouldn't it? oh camera sorry uh, you can see the state of my living room um yeah. uh, 
Good. Okay, now we can get moving a bit more. Will Andresi ever get into F1, even if they sue their way in? Um, they, they're not, well, they're not going to sue their way in, and if they do, everyone's going to hate them in the paddock. Um, I'd like to think they would. I mean, I, my first thought was, you know, they could buy Haas, but Gene hates Michael Andretti, so that won't happen. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, do you live home alone? Um, I have a flatmate, but he's not here very often, so I effectively live alone. Uh, $20. Thank you. That's Thank you, Mayo. That's really generous. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, so, ugh, let me think. Um, right, I need little red light, r little tiny little one piece red ones. Um, down and then little black ones of a little curve under the bottom on the bottom of them. Um, okay, well, I've got two of these, so I'll do the, that as well. Do you follow any other sports? Uh, not very closely. Um, so football, I don't follow like the Premier League or, or FA Cup or Champions League. I absolutely love the World Cup and the Euros. Uh, I've, I've, I've watched them very avidly. I don't pay attention to club stuff. Before I did YouTube, I kind of worked for Spurs. I had a job in lockdown where I was um, uh, kind of proofreading closed captions for videos. And Spurs was one of our clients. So I had to go through all of the press conferences, all of the post-match interviews, all of the social media tat that they made them do. Um, and, um, and go through and basically, you know, T turn these barely literate footballers view, view answers to questions into something legible um so i through that i ended up learning learning the who who was on the team and sort of vaguely supporting them because i was keeping up with what they were doing um i don't follow cricket i've been to a cricket game and it was all right but cricket's just a bit too slow paced for me don't watch rugby at all um i love the olympics particularly swimming in the track and field i absolutely love that stuff um don't watch NFL or baseball or anything like that. Uh, don't watch golf. Don't watch darts. Don't watch um, snooker or boxing. I used to, if I don't even count it as a sport, but um, I used to love WWE. Um, I haven't, I was watching it a lot. Um, about 2008 to 2011, I was watching it really avidly. Um, and these days, every so often, I'll go back and watch stuff from 20 years ago from like the, the Attitude Era when you had the TLC matches and it was all, they were still allowed to do headshots with chairs and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not anywhere near as good. And a lot of my favorite wrestlers are dead now as well. Uh, boxing. No, I don't pay attention to boxing. I've watched one or two fights when I can find them on, but I used to work at a, a bookmakers and whenever it was fight night, we'd have, we'd have to everyone, it, it would be just rammed in there, but then we, you wouldn't be able to watch the game cause it wouldn't be on like free to air TV or anything. Uh, right, I need two tiny little pieces that are just curved at the bottom. Um, do you watch F1? Obviously, I watch F1. Yeah, e even amongst motorsports. Okay, so I watch, obviously, F1, F2, F3, usually Freca. Maybe I'll watch a little bit of Italian F4 if it's on, um, uh, if it's, like, on YouTube. I watch Le Mans, but I don't watch any of the WEC. I watch Formula E if I feel like it, although most of the time I can't be asked. I'll usually watch IndyCar, definitely watch the 500. Uh, but uh, yeah, other, other motorsports I don't. I don't watch. I don't watch NASCAR. I don't watch uh, touring cars or, or any of the other stuff like that. Um, I think you missed the joke with the that. Yeah, I don't know Daytona fight. No, don't watch Daytona 500. Um, uh, did you work on the Spurs Prime documentary? No, no, I did. I didn't do anything like that. This was, this ended, um, well, a year and a half ago. It ended when I got when YouTube blew up. I stopped doing that. Um, we used to do. We we had other clients. I, I used to do some random YouTubers. It was mostly pe like gamers playing like Roblox and stuff. Um, 
but like I didn't. Uh, it, uh, most of what I did was just post-match interviews and the press conferences with Mourinho, and then his name will come to me. The the Portuguese guy that w that took over from Mourinho that was there for only a few months, and then the Italian guy that's really popular. That's been I did all of that. Um, I do those most a few times a week for every match. Um, do you play some games? Yeah, I do. Nuno, that's it. Yeah, Nuno, Nuno Espirito Santo. So uh, yeah, when he was there, Mourinho, and then the Italian guy who I can't name, I can't remember. Um, do a festival speed. Yeah, I do watch the festival speed. I went to the moving motor show. Conte, yes. I went to the moving motor show in 2011. I haven't been to the festival speed. I really, really want to go. Like every year I should go. And I'll be, uh, once I've got a car, which I'll probably get to, maybe then I will be able to go. Um... You should get into WEC. Probably should, yeah. Maybe maybe pay more attention. I just I don't because I don't pay attention. I don't know when it's on, other than Le Mans. Um, uh, do you play games? I do play a lot of video games uh, these days. The only two that I play regularly are World of Warships and uh, Skyrim. For some reason, even though I've I've pumped in God knows how many hours into that game in the past eleven or twelve years, I just keep going back to it. Um, I have like over fifty or sixty games on Steam. Um, but half of them, I play them a bit and then don't touch them. I haven't, I use, I don't really play the F1 games as much anymore because if I, I want to do it properly and I want to do all the practice sessions, do full length race, but that's a huge commitment. It takes up a whole evening. Um, and like I've done a bit of, a little bit of GTA. I used to play League of Legends all the time and I quit that a year ago because I just, for the sake of my mental health. And I've replaced that with uh, World of Warships, which in many cases can be just as bad. Um, do you watch the Grand Tour? I do watch the Grand Tour, and I love the Grand Tour, and I love Top Gear. Uh, or I, I, I should say I love actual Top Gear, not uh, whatever that is with Freddie Flintoff that they pretend is Top Gear. Um, yeah, I feel like for any British man around my age, the two most kind of um, formulative TV shows, or if you, if you will, uh, growing up, would have been Top Gear and The Inbetweeners. Um, I think it's that those are those are the ones that kind of define the sort of middle millennial generation in Britain. Oh, I finally found the piece. If making the HRT videos was hard, was hard, then making the ones about Pacific and other 90s teams wasn't that hard. It wasn't difficult. It was easy to find the information I needed. It just took a long time because it meant re-watching re the races. Um, the Pacific, well, the thing is with Pacific and that, I couldn't go into as much detail because I didn't have, I had lap charts, but there were very few photos, very few good photos. And when watching the races, they almost never appear on screen and they didn't have like live timings um, that, that would show you where they were. So you had to go off. There's one website which has lap charts for every every race in history. And that is a godsend. Um, but yeah, I was and I was forced to just put less detail in. Um, with those ones and I think in the future I think the, the, the Haas series when I, whenever I finish that off that will continue in the high detail race review stuff but the rest of them I think I will condense it down because it's just a bit too much and a lot of people have said it's just it, it's just too confusing to work it work out what's going on um Oh, one of these is meant to be the other way around. Okay. Uh, in between is never would never be made. To, yeah, it wouldn't be. There are lots of shows that would never be made today, and in between is regrettably is one of them. Um, weirdest race circuit. Uh, goodness. Um, in 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 the context of Formula One, Avis was was quite bizarre. Um, that one. Um, yeah, obviously just a highway, just two long straights of a couple of hair banked hairpins. Um, I don't know if I call it weird, but Bathurst is just amazing. Um, I love, I really wish that could be a, a F1 suitable circuit as a third alternative for the Aussie Grand Prix. Um, uh, can you put more videos onto your Spotify? I think most of them are up on there. I put up the most popular ones. Um, I did change a thing, so now... Um, well, I was going to do a thing where, because obviously I made it subscriber only for the audio, is that once that the full video is on YouTube, I would then take that off the subscription so anyone can watch it, listen to it on Spotify. But you have to have at least one video that is subscriber only, so that may not work. Um, 
unfortunately. But yeah. Spotify, may, I, I would say just make the whole thing free, but then I'm basically offering what I give to people on Patreon free of charge. So you can see why that screws over patrons a bit. Live chat stops scrolling on screen. Uh, mine's still moving. Um, maybe that's not a problem on your end. Um, do you think the Ferrari 2003 GA is really that bad? Because you placed it 16th. Um, okay, when you well, the thing is, when you when you get to the top 20 F1 cars in a decade, you're essentially looking at the two best cars in every season. Um, and th there is really at that level, there is so little in it in terms of performance. And the thing is, is that compared to the cars before and after it, it wasn't outright dominant um, until they changed the tire compounds. For a lot of the season, it was it was matched or slower than uh, McLaren and not far off Williams. That's why. Whereas the, the, the O2 and the O4 were just obviously faster than every other car. Um, okay. So I need two of these. I need two of these as well. There's those. I wasn't sure how to get your lock Spotify. Um, I think I, well, you, you have to pay, I think it's only two pounds a month. There's a subscription for those. Um, at the moment, only one of them is locked because I said I'll, I'll unlock them after the, the full video is made public. Um, I don't know how to, how you actually subscribe to something like that because I've, I've never subscribed myself to anything on Spotify. Um, This is not very good at distinguishing between grey and black in the instructions, and you wonder, is this black or grey? And that is a little confusing. Um, now I just need one more of these. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, so I've got all of these. So I need to do... Um, oh, I need one of these. Okay. Also, you, Nav, and Mobile Chicane do so good on DRS. Thank you. Yeah, we, we do enjoy it. Um, it's... Uh, it's good fun. Obviously, hopefully we'll get it blow up soon. I will tell you, we're, we're trying to get, because obviously we're very good at finding guests. At the moment, it's all been other creators. We're, we're creating a sort of little, a community of the sort of small and medium-sized YouTubers, uh, F1 YouTubers, because obviously on the big end, you've got like, you know, Tomo and Aldas and um, uh, Josh and that on the do stuff together, like the, the big YouTubers. Uh, we're the kind of smaller ones. Um, we're trying to get drivers. That's going to be fun. Um, one person we are trying to get is Frentzen because he follows me on uh, X and Instagram. Um, so that's an obvious, a lot, an easy way to contact him, but that's proving difficult. Um, obviously, that would that would blow the the channel that would blow the channel open if we could get him on. Um, but you know, I think a lot of for, feeder Formula drivers, a lot of them can be might be easier to find, like Formula Three and stuff because they're not so busy and yeah um but yeah we've got a lot of plans for that in the future and i've gone wrong again oh no this is gonna oh this is the worst when you get two pieces the same size stuck together um i remember i used to have a, a sort of hook thing that you could use it was like a lego piece to break two pieces apart um I really could do with that now because I've gone wrong here again. Uh, unless, God forbid, I get a knife and try and do it that way. Uh, worst season of 2010s? Yeah, obviously 2015. Uh, I did not get a Bottas calendar. I don't need a, a Bottas calendar. Um, 2011 wasn't bad, actually. The thing is, no, no, 2013 was horrific. Um, 20, 2011 was actually all right. I thought, obviously, no championship fight, but there were lots of fairly good races. And maybe it's a nostalgia factor, because for me, that was my final year at school, and all my friends were really into F1 at the time. And then by 2012, everyone was off at uni, and that, yeah, we weren't watching all the races together anymore and stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought 2011 was all right. Uh, um, this all needs to come off. Oh, God, how am I going to get these apart? Yeah, it, it spoiled a bit because obviously, yeah, yeah, 2012 and 2010 um, are both really, really fantastic seasons, um, especially 2012. Um, okay, so that goes back on like so, I hope. I really hope. Um, yeah. 
and then this goes on the middle. Just like last year was all right if you ignore Max. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It wasn't. It, it, we've had worse seasons. Um, had an interesting start. Yeah, that was, it was close until they brought they changed the tire compounds and then it was you know the Vettel show. Um, but it just we had different winners, but the races there just wasn't much happening, and it was spoiled because the cars were the same as 2012, but the racing was just absolutely terrible. Um, and hardly anything had changed other than some new drivers and losing HRT. It, other than that, it wasn't really any different. Um, two of these go on like so. Uh... Would you keep Sainz or get Albon a second driver? I'm assuming you mean at Ferrari. Uh, yeah, for the time being, I'd keep Sainz. I mean, he's kind of showing up Leclerc a bit. Um, it depends if you think that Leclerc should be the outright number one, which I guess if you're the Defosi, you should, because Leclerc, of course, is the chosen one, um, even though he's really turning into John Lacey 2.0. Um, but no, so there's no reason to get rid of Sainz. I mean, Albon... He's gonna want to. He's gonna get impatient if Williams don't move forward. He's gonna want a better seat soon. I don't. I don't blame him. Red Bull is not an option for him. But you know, there are. He might. Admit, well, don't know where he could go. Not McLaren. Aston. Not. That's not happening either. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know where. Um. Should they make two stops in the mandatory? Um. As much as I prefer it, I don't think it's a good idea to make it mandatory. I don't want to force people into having to do pit stops i want them to give them the option to well if we want to do one stop we can but if we want to do five stops we can a two stop thing i'm not i'm not a fan of that um i feel like people are just going to find some funny loopholes to make that work in a way that it's not supposed to as well um leclerc lando is obviously a dream lineup yeah that would that would be a very strong one um People keep saying that Lando should move to Red Bull. No, that's going to be really... Well, he, he, he won't beat Max. And and also, everything will be rigged against him because it's Max's team. Um, it would be entertaining, but just not, not, good, for, not good for him. Um, three big white pieces. Right. Oh, now I'm getting into a rhythm with this, although we're missing... Okay, I've just skipped over part of it. That's great. Um, two of those, three six-pointed grey. Yeah. Uh, and then a long grey one, six pieces. Yeah. Most overrated driver of all time. Oh, God, I don't know. Um, you could make cases for almost all of the top guys. You could you could make a case that, like, Schumacher, Hamilton, Vettel, Verstappen, you could say they've all been overrated because they've all benefited from, basically, stat inflation um, and having really good cars to them. Um I, I feel like, I'm going to say Leclerc, people worship him, and yes, he can qualify when he's not crashing, but his race craft and race pace really isn't, isn't it. It just goes, yeah. His, his pole to win conversion rate is, is horrifically bad. Um, it's, the only person who has a worse one is Rene Arnoux, but he had the benefit at least of most of those being, most of that being um, because the car never worked and not really his driving being the problem. Um, this is all looking good. Three little red, two-piece red ones. Uh, Woody, uh, by which you mean George, is overrated. Yeah, George is is not. He's not quite the star that we thought he would be at uh, Merck. 
and it was hinted at by Saki year 2020 as well that was a that race almost saved that year i think it was 20 uh, not 2012 2020 sorry um it was it was a very strange year on all fronts and it was such it was such a bizarre season and it's like sometimes i feel like you could almost just say that's it's, it's not a legitimate year because the calendar was so messed up and and the situation was so different but it was just 2020 was just yeah it's it's a year on for, for me on all fronts was just terrible um so it's it's not it's not a year to quote to to quote the late queen um or to paraphrase you know 2020 is not a year on which i shall look with undiluted pleasure um right this is what we got so far we got that and then i'm assuming this is probably going to go underneath or slot in over the top at some point and then we got something going um uh, so I need the uh, I need like a piece shaped like that. Um, there it is. Right. One of these yes goes in here. Bam. Ooh, that is that's complete, I think. And then that attaches upside down. Um, like that, I think that's, yeah, that looks right. Ooh. Ah, okay, so we've got basically the whole floor and either front or rear axle now. That's good. Um, hi, Peter, you do great work on your channel. I really enjoy it. Thank you, yeah, man. Thank you very much. That's how I always knew that one day the channel would burp because even when it was tiny and I wasn't getting many views the comments were overwhelmingly positive and so that was what always kind of motivated me to keep going because there, there, I was one of many channels that started in lockdown and there were a lot that started and then they quit after lockdown ended because they maybe only got a few hundred subs and were like well it's not worth continuing but I I was in a position where I could get away with um with persisting with it and it paid off um okay so that's one section done now we have to get another one um i need the other axle which is here uh the pole conversion rate is not charles fault most of the time it's down to a combination of fry hang poor base files bad luck and bad strategy yeah there, there is a lot of that very few of it there have been some that have been breakdowns but a lot of it it's, it's just the having the complete package um i think because of the the He's often not aggressive enough, I think, in races because they give him these very conservative pit strategies. And there's such a huge emphasis on tyre saving um, that it just doesn't happen. Like, I really wish that what for once they would just do a three stop and just or a four stop and just go really aggressive, especially at Singapore, because they they go they go so far off quality pace in the race there. Like Puller, was it 04, Manny Corb, with, um, what's his face, where Schumacher won one of a four-stop strategy? Like, just do that. Uh, two four-piece panels. There's one, there's two. Uh... Do you have faith in the Ferrari master plan? No. I mean, the only time I, the only time I've been a Ferrari fan was when Vettel was with them and I jumped off at the same stop as him. Um, yeah, I, I like Ferrari. I think they should be here. I like them for who they are in the history and, you know, they've been since the beginning, but I just can't. I just I, I could never be a, I could never support them. I don't really support teams. That's the thing. I'm and I'm I'm I'm. I'm fairly neutral on a lot of current drivers. Um, I don't have like you know yes I'm a McLaren fan or yes I'm a an Albon fan or it's it's that sort of thing um with Vettel gone yeah and there aren't many obvious underdogs to root for um if Adrian re retires will he be OP probably not um unless he's he's obviously trained a lot of underlings or um 
proteges that can follow his example. He's he's been the key. He's been like gold dust for every team he's been with. So yeah, when he goes, everything will go to shit probably, just like it did with Williams, um, and well, to a, a lesser extent, McLaren. Uh, okay, that's that was easy enough. Those two, uh, two little corner wedges and two little light pieces. Right. Those. Um. Two. Ooh, there's one of them. Two of these. I need tiny little corner pieces. Uh, where would I find another one? Of those. Should there be two? Yeah, I'd like three. Tire walls. Yeah, I want tire walls again. Particularly if Pirelli are going to keep making useless tires. I want Bridgestone to just bring in like super durable tires again and just yeah because that that will the thing is if they're if they're completely different compounds that will give us such a huge range of pit strategies like try to compare like the 2010 strategies to the 2011 ones have those running in the same race that would um yeah i'd love that uh if every world leader had a race who would win that's a very strange question um basically if every state every pol a bunch of politicians in a car uh, i mean off the top of my head justin trudeau is younger and on the fitter side than a lot of the other ones so that that would help but i don't know of any any politicians except for sakon yamamoto that have any motorsport experience and he's only like an mp or the japanese version of an mp um Uh, two of these. Will Williams ever win a championship in a race again? I think it's unlikely, um, unless they get a colossal injection of cash. But by that point, they'll be so far gone from what Williams was. Like They'll have the name, but obviously it's got nothing to do with the Williams family anymore, and Patrick Head's gone and that. Uh, maybe in the, you never know, but they 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 need a, a huge injection of of cash, and they need to really kind of modernise the factory and their their operation as well. Uh, one of those on there, and then a grey. Yeah, no, that's a black one. The grey one. All right. If any racing drivers became politicians, uh, Carlos Reutemann did. He was the senator for Santa Fe in Argentina. And he was, I think he did run for president of Argentina as well at some point. Or or he or people said he should, but then he just never did. Um that that happened. Uh, is this going to go on? Okay, two of these weird looking pieces. Oh, two already, that's good. And then two tiny little one piece wedges. Uh, hmm. yeah okay these go in the middle um Is Charles more or less stuck at Ferrari with Kimi Ante leaving the hottest name to replace Lewis? Yeah, I don't think Charles... Well, I don't know if Charles... Charles... 
he probably has thought about leaving Ferrari, um, I imagine, because of you know it's how awful it is there. Um, but then he also feel I think he probably feels a lot of a debt of loyalty as well because he was a junior and he how popular he is. Um, but he's in a position where at the moment. It, Unless, say, he replaced Lewis at Mercedes, he can't really go anywhere else because he's not going to want to go up against Max. Um, any other team... Uh, McLaren, again, that's not that's kind of shut out. Anywhere else would be a downgrade. Um, and, yeah, Kimi Antonelli is the next the next big thing. That's the, that's the problem. Um, which might uh, create issues for... I think other drivers might start getting concerned if he's as good as he has been um, if in Formula 2 he's as good as he has been in everything else. Uh, one flat panel. Yeah. Um, one white panel. Yep, and then two three-part narrow bits that are curved at the end, or rounded at the end. Where would I find those? Ooh, there's one. Uh, Wyman de Bruno Senna. Uh, he wasn't his uncle, basically. He wasn't as good. I mean, he wasn't bad, I thought. Like, his HRT that re driving was reasonably decent. Um... Uh, Williams just looks worse because he didn't win a race, but he was so much more consistent than Maldonado. Uh, when he was at Lotus Renault, that wasn't brilliant, and yet it just... It, it was a bit of a mick, Schumacher. It just didn't land, and there was a lot of pressure and expectation because of his name. And now he's off doing whatever he does in Brazil. Like, that he, that, that like radio helicopter championship he's trying to get off the, the ground or whatever it is. Uh, so this is complete, and this definitely looks like the front. Um... Okay, so that we have we have a base of the car. So presumably next up is uh, going to be the actual bodywork. Two little lights and okay. Two of these. And then a little um, another panel. With only one bit on the top. Do you collect F1 models diecast? No. Um, I probably should, to be honest. I never had them because I wasn't into F1 as a kid, so I never had any from then. I do, back home, I do have a. Um, uh, a lot of I still have a lot of 118th scale models of Porsches because I've always loved Porsches and I've got those still, uh, which I use. I they were meant to be display models, but I bought them throughout the stand they're attached to and just use them as toys. Um, but F1, I've never had any any F1 cars. Um, have you ever owned a wheel? Um, yes, I got a cheap one for my PS2 for my birthday once. I only used it like once because I tried it on Gran Turismo 3 and the thing is you would turn and nothing would happen and then suddenly the car would just go off like this and I think it was a mixture of being a cheap wheel but also um, the driving physics in Gran Turismo 3 were prone to a massive amounts of understeer um, and so I was like well this doesn't work and also because I had to like hold it in between my legs I didn't have a desk to mount it to. I would love a proper sim rig if I had you know £5,000 and room to fit one in um, but yeah. This is annoying. One little piece, and there may be only be one example of it that I need. Um, what do you think of GT7? Um, 
I don't have it. I want to get it. I tried to... Um, I, I actually almost bought it because a couple of weeks ago, I thought I'd buy a PS5 and then the payment got declined for some got blocked and there was a problem with my card uh so maybe i'll get i'll get a ps5 and i'll get gt7 but i've been told it's it's really really bad in terms of microtransactions um and grinding because they want everyone just to play online here's the piece i need um or something but yeah uh i haven't um yeah i i i, I, I do want to get it i i, I haven't had i had uh, the last Grand Turismo game I had was six, and I completed that in about two weeks. That game was not expansive enough. GT5 was possibly too expansive because they were the B spec compulsory, uh, which in the it was a miracle that I actually managed to win every race in the NASCAR series using B spec because that was horrific. Um, are you interested in other Lego cars? Um, I don't pay attention to Lego. I got this as a gift for Christmas just for fun, um, but like a Lego F1 car, I wouldn't mind. Um, I, I wouldn't mind some proper, like, the Tamiya or models of classic F1 cars, like when Roman Grosjean made the Tyrrell six-wheeler. I, I wouldn't mind mm. have model, model kits like that, maybe, of F1 cars. Those would be fun to make. Um, okay, now it's all the weird-looking panels we need. Um, uh, two of those, and then one... Of the, uh, two stars. Do you play any rally games? Um, I have Colin McRae Dirt, uh, which I did actually play quite a lot back in the day, like more than 10 years ago. Um, and I got quite far. I quite enjoyed that. I've got Dirt 2, but I, I've only played like the first, the first race you do at the beginning. Um, as a kid, I used to have, I had, um, Col I had the original Colin McRae Rally, um, and I had Network Q RAC Rally Championship, which I used to play with like a um, a, a joystick, like a plain one. And that was weird. This is like MS-DOS era. Uh, otherwise, yeah, again, rallying, I don't follow. I don't follow WRC and I only know what I know from, from those games and from things like Gran Turismo. Um, thoughts on Toto Wolf? Uh... Well, I'm not a fan. I, I think with him, his passion is less with racing and more business stuff. I think he's obviously eyeing up for becoming FIA president or head of FOM or, some, or the Formula One group or something like that. And yeah, he's become... The thing is, Christian... It's funny. Now, everyone went after Christian for being a whiny bitch in 21 and 20, but now Toto is the one being a whiny bitch because he's not winning everything and things are just not working. But I, I do wish he would stop exaggerating with how bad the Mercedes car is because that is still... It's one of the best non-race winning cars we've ever had. It's just that because they're up against Red Bull, made it look worse. Um, it's not a bad car. They haven't made a bad car even since 2010, I don't think. Um, hello, hello, how's the build? Hello, Colonel. Well, we've got this so far. So we've got the base and the wheel axle. So it, it's beginning to look like something. I think soon it'll be moving on to the bodywork. Um... I just need one grey piece. And there it is. Okay. These will go along like that. Okay. F1 World Grand Prix. Oh, man, I loved that game. I had that as well. It kind of creeped me out because, I mean, for the time, the graphics were fairly good. And they used to have people in the pit stops. And they looked a bit too real. I remember because it came, it came in this massive box, even though it was still, you know, an old CD case because it's an old game. But I loved that, F1 World Grand Prix. But again, I had it as a kid just because I liked the racing, but I didn't pay attention to Formula 1. So I, I, I recognised... I knew that, you know, red team is Ferrari, orange is Arrows, white is BAR, green is Jag, but I didn't know who half the drivers were or, or anything. Um, um, that goes on there... This is very specific in terms of where it was. It's actually surprisingly well detailed. Um, I'm missing one that's disappeared somehow. Um, one of the little red ones. Um, unless I just can't count. Arrows were black. Uh, yeah, they would have been in 98, but I mean like the Schumacher era when I was only very loosely paying attention to, to F1. Um, I didn't start watching F1 in 2000. I got into it in 2007 and I watched some races, um, mostly because, you know, obviously Lewis caught everyone's attention. 2008 was when I started watching it full time. Um, okay. 
Okay. That's something. Uh, two black four parts. So there's two of those. And then the little round ones. And I can see both of them in here. Okay. Uh, are you calling steak, steak or salber? Um, uh, well... I'll probably just casually call them Salba, but it depends. It depends if they're when we get the, the official entry list, if they're listed as Salba on the constructors list or stake. If they're stake, then I consider that an entirely new team in the same way that I for my rankings I considered Alfa Romeo and BMW Salba to be separate from Salba. But yeah, they're just it's it's just it is it's just Salba. They're just they're just being annoying. Um Right, that goes on there, and then there, and then there, and then there. Uh, two white, oh, there they, they both are. This is moving along very quickly now. Um, That's confusing me. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Why is that only going on one side? It wants two of these on that side, but it hasn't asked for them on that side too yet, so that's a little strange. Um, one of these... And one of these. Uh, oh, and our first stickers. Right. Okay, that's first stickers, number 27. So we got all of, as well as, uh, as well as that, we got these stickers to put on. This is new to me. Um, number 27. Oh, this is going to be fun. Trying to get these on accurately. Um Tweezers. Use double. Use double. Maybe I should use tweezers, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, two seconds. I'm going to grab some tweezers. Okay, so, who's a driver you really miss in the 2000 era that you would like to see racing again? Um, okay, well obviously it's hypothetical, I think basically all of them are too old to still be racing, uh, but Michael... Yes, I think I want. I'd like my if if there was a way that Michael could be back, I would love that. Um, Montoya, I feel like there's unfinished business, but he's too old now. Um, Kimi, strictly speaking, could because well, Alonso's still going, and if Kimi cared enough, maybe he could do it too. Um, and obviously, Vettel counts as a two thousands driver, so you could say him as well. Oh no, 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 that's not going on right. This might make things harder, actually. Um, these are very adhesive. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's lopsided slightly. This is this is difficult, man. Um, if I pull that off, is it going to actually go back on again? It might have been easy just to use my fingers. Um, Oh, that's close enough. Yeah. Um, uh, and that goes on around that way. Uh, 
and then this is two white panel pieces, both over here. Early request for you to create a street track around Sunderland. Yeah, we can do Sunderland. I, mean, I did, I did Newcastle and um, the, the the place on the other side, whatever it's called, um, technically. So I could do more northern cities. Um, Gateshead, that's what it is. Uh, do you think Bottas is going to retire this year? Probably, and I hope so. He should have just retired probably after the first year of Alpha. He's just so desperately boring and there's nothing he's not even proving himself like at mercedes he could he was a good qualifier and sometimes could be good in the races and we've seen absolutely no evidence of that while he's been without alfa romeo uh two of these yeah have you seen their new pick yeah the car might be a pink camo well they said obviously i, I saw the mean girls thing well the thing is they, they start the year with a pink car each year don't they so that i guess they're just going to do that again um, I don't know why, but they do. I mean, I'm amazed that team's still functioning. Half the staff are gone. I mean, it's going. It's getting to the point where Ocon and Gasly are going to just be doing everything themselves. Uh, another sticker, number twenty. BWT, yeah, I guess that's the same reason that um, what's their face racing point were always pink. Um, yeah, and that goes on there. Something like Formula around Newcastle, yeah. They probably would do it. They'll go. They go to a lot of. I mean, to be fair, they they they, they don't step on F one at all. They they go to places different, except Monaco. Uh, two, four of those. Okay. One, two, three, four. Um, and then another tiny little panel with a button in the middle. Um, uh, opinion on the ever-increasing poisoning of crypto NFT sponsors. Yeah, I don't want them. I think it's just incredibly cringe. I mean, the NFT thing, they, they, they jumped on the NFT boat just as NFTs were going down the toilet. I know this as well because this is when this for my um, closed captions work, one of our clients was a big NFT website trying to and like crypto trying to doing videos explaining about how guatemala's taken on cryptocurrency as it, and and how much better it is than um f uh, whatever uh, fiat money and that um but it's just gone i just it's just i can't stand it like yeah i miss the days when you had like durex sponsoring teams Uh, I missed the bright. Yeah, the pink. At least it will stand out because the colours are so bloody dark now. The you can't tell the cars apart, and they're using so much carbon just to save weight. I feel like that needs a rule. The entire car needs to be have something on it. You can't just have bare carbon and call it a livery. Oh, Jesus. Um. Where is this piece? I only need one piece. I need like one of those, but black. Um, did you play Racing Driver Grid? N no, never. Uh, race Car gr Race No, I never played that. I think maybe maybe the demo I got once. Um, but yeah, never never played that game. Do you think DRS should be removed? 
Uh, yes, it should. Um, well, if you can build cars that can pass each other, then yeah, we need to get rid of it. There are some circuits that don't need it, like Baku doesn't need it, Austria doesn't need it, and you control them as ones that you can just run without it. But yeah, I just hate how artificial it is. Um... Okay, that doesn't look right. Have I gone wrong again somewhere? Um, DRS, yeah, they should make it unlimited in quality again, I think. DRS, if we're going to keep it. Uh, what? That does not look right. Um, oh, yeah, that's that was meant to be further up. Uh, these are oh, these have to come off again. Um, Uh, well, some of the weirdest sponsor collabs you can remember a stand up me with Chelsea on Sabbath. Yeah, they had they had the they had Chelsea, but they also had Burger King, and I was like, there are some companies where they're so big that they just don't need sponsoring because everyone, every, it's a company everyone's heard of. Um, uh, I guess well, obviously Rich Energy is one that was weird. I think that was. How how he how he managed to trick them like that just beggars belief. Um, I think we have a seat now when I put this in. Um, yeah, that that looks like a seat to me. Um, steering wheel, yay! Something obvious that's the <laughs> that's part of the car. Uh, the Nigerian Prince, yeah, that that does, to be fair, okay, that's something that will go in the next iceberg because I haven't touched that one yet. Um, Phoenix Finance, that that that's an obvious one for the next iceberg. Um, Eh? Oh, no. Nearly dropped that. Um... No, that's not that. Uh, Grey little bucket. Okay. Would you consider doing what if only practice times can it? No, because that would take forever. And it would be also, it would be a horrendously inaccurate um, portrayal of people's performance. Um, yeah, that would take too long. Oh, there's the spanner that I needed for the driver. It's been in this bag the whole time, right at the very beginning of this. Put that in your hand. I used to make spreadsheets adding up points for, for practice and I just dropped it because I was like, this is stupid. Um, Uh, where is it? Grey, like this, but like one. Oh, there it is. So we got the steering wheel. So now it's actually starting to look like a bit of a car. Oop, yep, yeah, bodywork, lots of red. Right. And also fewer pieces. It's just easier to find stuff. Latifi was fastest once, yeah. With the alternate point systems, one that I am meant to do is using the IndyCar point system. Uh, 
I've only done 1950 so far because that is going to take fucking forever because the IndyCar point system is really complicated and it's not as simple as just looking at everyone's results on Wikipedia because you have to give points to everyone who led a lap and who led the most laps as well. Um, so that's going to be an absolute nightmare, but that will be a very interesting one because it means that literally everybody will get points. A Venice circuit. Oh, Jesus. Well, you know, it's, I'm sure I could make it make it work. Um, uh, two of those, one big-ass one. W um, yeah. Number 25 from the Deckles. This is like almost magnetic. It just sticks immediately and it's getting it to like land in the right part. And I'm really not good at this because I'm, yeah. May or may not be dyspraxic. I probably should have got tested for that. Um, uh, and then we see the same again. 22. Yeah, these decals are all going to be uneven it's you can't possibly put these on like perfectly aligned um uh, yeah uh how around what way around do this go uh, that one there. And it's got my fingerprints all over the stickers now as well, so that's going to help scuzz it all up. Um, to, uh, two of these and two of these little round triangle ones. Now we're getting some red on. Now it's starting to get some bodywork put on. Uh, how would Champions look points MotoGP? Yeah, I can do MotoGP at some point. I don't know their points system, but I can I can obviously just look it up and do all the maths. It'll take forever, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I can do more. There will be more alternate point systems. I'm very good at, you know, starting one video and then immediately wanting to do something different. Uh, if I think it's going to take too long and I, I'm just because there's it's the problem with the algorithm it wants you to make lots of videos all the time and I can't do that because my videos take ages to make um so I can't be uploading like one a week or, or whatever so half the time I just default on whatever is can be made quickly and my version of quickly in the case of the DOT thing ended up being DOTD ended up being three weeks nearly uh. Uh, right. Where do those go? On. Um. One of them there. And then the other one here. Yep. Uh, so I've done those. And then I need these panels that go on behind that. Uh, these were meant to go. Yeah, put the triangles on the wrong place. I skipped over to the others. And that goes. Where's the other one gone? Um, oh, there it is. Was the video you're most proud of? Um, 
in terms of its kind of production quality, I think the 90s car ranking one, I do like that one because I, I didn't rush myself and it's I, I, tr I managed to notice any mistakes. It's all very neat and and all of that. And it says everything it needs to do. I mean, the views could be better. I do like that one. Um, I'm broadly pleased with the second iceberg. The point systems ones, again, are just nice and clean. Um, I also like the tur the Turbo Era one ended up coming out way better. It did so much better than I thought it would. And that video, I think it's just about a year old now. It was around this time last year that one came out. And my Vettel video, I like the Vettel video. Ideally, does this grid have 12 teams or even more? I want 13. Yeah, that's... the. That's the only way, even if it's just to give opportunities to juniors that deserve it. Um, oh, so I, oh, now it says pour out everything from bag number two uh, once I've got these tiny little bits. Um, oh, God. Uh, two of those. Or one of the, yeah, one of, one of the, those. No, that's a, yeah. Okay, one each of those, and then two weird-looking corner pieces. Um, yeah, okay. And they go around the cockpit, okay. Okay, we got ourselves an enclosed cockpit with... Ah, oh, the doors move. Yep. Yeah, nice. Do you care about F1 Academy? No. Uh, I think it's a waste of time. And it's just... It's, it's W Series of more money, but now the catch is you can't watch it. Um, yeah. If you, want to, if you want girls to get better, you need to pay, put... If, if you want the girls to get better and get more... Seen more and more opportunities, you need to put them against boys instead of against each other. So you have can compare them directly. And I guess we're getting that when Nerea Marti's going into Freca as her reward, so they've at least made an obvious pathway. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to... I'm not expecting it to be, be to be any more helpful for them than, than the W Series was. Wheel rims! Ah. Wheel rims that don't line up. How is oh, the panel? How do I keep going wrong with this? Okay, so I need to take these panels off. Um, eh, eh, no, don't fall down. Um, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 almost fell on the floor. Uh. That's better. Wheel rims in the right, or wheel guards, I should say, in the right place. Um, two, uh, two of the, two of these, and two tiny little wedges. My phone just went off. Okay. Um, uh. Two tiny little, two tiny little, I need one more tiny, oh this is, they're all black, I can't tell them apart in this bag, and the plastic is like dazzling um, from the lights. Uh,
Oh, fuck it. I'll just pull them out. Uh, when will you make another driver history alongside Williams and Red Bull? Uh, soon. It might be after this HRT thing. I might... Um, the next team I want to do is Sauber. So uh, I will do one on them in the next month or so. Oh, that, that'll be one coming out. Um... Uh, where's the wedge? I just need one one more of these tiny little wedge pieces. Um, and there it is, in a separate bag for some reason. Uh, okay. Oh, some tiny little red pieces. Oh, boy. Uh, one of those... Um... Renault history. Yeah, Renault... Well, it depends which Renault, because I could skip... Um, because the new Renault is got is unrelated to the original one in that it, it's a lineage that derives from um, Tolman and it's sort of Team Endstone. But the original Renault from the 70s and 80s, that stopped dead. I could probably have to merge them in some way. Uh, the Red Bull one ended up being so much longer than I thought it would be because I didn't expect there to be so many Red Bull Juniors and there were so many I didn't even know were part of it. Because they were, like, I swear Helmet would just pick anyone around 05 06 literally any driver he could find and most of them lasted one one year if that um oh this is so short on screen chat froze Oh, no, no, I see what you mean, because uh, someone mentioned that before. Um, it seems to freeze and then, like, come back again. I think that's to do with Streamlabs, but my, my chat is still moving. If I go full screen, actually. Oh, God, that, that froze ages ago. I had no idea. Um, I don't know how to fix that. Um... Yeah, that's really. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't realize it. It had frozen and was just stuck like that from that far back. Um, it used to just catch up on its own, but I don't know how to fix that without wrecking the settings. Um, okay. Well, obviously, I can see the questions still, so I can obviously read them out and answer them. Um, and I suppose if you watch this back afterwards, the live chat replay will be on the side. Um, or it should be. Um, that's the piece I need. Uh, I need another one of those. Okay, so I've got these four tiny little red panels. Uh... uh Okay, oh, it's not very, well, it, yeah, I couldn't tell. It didn't, in the instructions, it didn't say go here. It just showed it with these bits added on, and I couldn't tell where they'd gone. Um, okay, they're attaching to parts which aren't attached already, so I've, I've skipped over something again. Um, yep, I did that. Uh, I meant to put these on, didn't I?
Hi. Hello, Stingray Rob. Presumably you're not the real Stingray Rob, because that would be quite an honour to get an, an IndyCar driver checking this out. There's always someone called... I think there used to be a Lewis Hamilton that would comment on my videos a lot. Obviously not the... Well, maybe the real one. You, know, you never know with these. I think celebrities, some of them can be good at, you know, hiding in plain sight online. A bit of background music. Maybe I should. I, I'll look at... I've considered that as well. I need to find... Well, I need to think of... I need to work out how to do something that's going to just cycle repeatedly and not be too loud. I'm really basic. I would love to have streams where, you know, like... Because I, I watched a lot of Jimmy Broadbent's. He has, like, a proper intro waiting lobby and, and, it, and be able to change settings very smoothly. It's all very basic. Um... I'd want to be better than that. I've considered doing stuff with games as well, but then it's finding games. I don't have enough plug outlets to fit a controller in and then camera and mic. And I thought about F1 Manager because I can do all of that, but those games are just really bad. Like, I just, I can't, you can't do anything. They just, don't, the AI just don't overtake on them. And it's, it's just excruciating to watch. Um... Phone buzzed at me. What's going on? Oh, come on, you bloody phone. Uh, F1 Magic Boring. Yeah, I, 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 I had 22 and I was like, this is not, this just doesn't work. And I bought 23. I played a bit of it yesterday and I just got bored really fast. It's just the tutorials, it's too complicated. There are so many different things you have to do in terms of money and pleasing the board of directors and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this is just too, there's too much to, to think about. Um, and on top of that, the AI is so bad that the races aren't even that engaging because you just can't overtake. And if you do, they then spin. Oh, now it's all just panels on uh, decals, a lot of this. 31 and 30. Um... If it was the real Stingray Rob, I'd be trained to become a competent racer driver, not commenting on a Peter Brook live stream. I mean, yeah, I don't, I mean, he, 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 well, last year he was a rookie, wasn't he? Um, and was just meh. I mean, IndyCar is funny because again, it's this, it's a sort of spec series that they're driving the same car. I mean, the d engines are different. There's two different types of engines, but otherwise, like, how is there such a gap with some of them? And oval racing, I just do not understand at all. It's just a complete game of chance about if you happen to be leading on the final lap. Um, and I don't understand why they need three weeks of testing and practice at Indy just to set the car up to go around th four left-hand turns that are exactly the same. It's, it's madness. And it's a death trap as well. Uh, but I like that their tyres are more durable and they actually push themselves um, and overtaking, I guess, is easier. Hi, Peter. Do you watch Rocket Power Mohawk? I do watch his his stuff. Um, I'm on his Patreon, so I see what goes on there. He, at the moment, he doesn't put out much content. He does a lot of, like... He do, he has his own podcast series that he does, and those are easy to do, I guess, compared to the, the proper videos that he puts out. Um, he does those... Um, yeah, it's all good fun in there. It's all very different. Um, and you can understand why his channel is demonetized. I think um, it's not really surprising that YouTube aren't a fan of that stuff. Uh, oh, this is good. Okay, now I need to think about how... Is that the right way around? Two of these, these are light i guess these are meant to be like lights so that's one and then another one 
Have you heard about what happened to Hass? Yeah, I've, obviously everyone knows about Gunter being dropped and Ayao Komatsu taking over. Uh, it's not going to help them. They're already miles behind on development, so this is going to be... The, the team's not going to last much longer, I think. They just have such a lack of money. They have such a bad reputation. Nobody wants to drive for them. That they're just going to... They're going to they're gonna collapse or they'll get bought out by somebody else. Um... Do you think we'd ever return to France? Um, yes, and we should. France should always be on the calendar, even if it's a, even if it's a Paul Ricard. We should always race in France. Um, do you think we'll move? Well, well, I saw a link. I, did, I think it was fake saying that they had confirmed Madrid, but they should never. They should not go to Madrid. Like we don't need more street circuits in the face of what is actually as a circuit very good, even if the races are boring in Barcelona. Um, to these god there are still so many tiny little pieces left i can't believe how detailed this is um right uh F1 at Le Mans. Yeah, I, I might make a... Well, they, they'd be very short videos, but hypothetical of if we raced at circuits, which are not F1 friendly, what it would be like. But Le Mans, Le Mans we could give a try. I think the reason we can't do it is because it's it's Le Mans. It's, it's their turf. Um, it is extremely bumpy, though, and obviously the very, very long straights. And very narrow, so it would be kind of, I think, fairly dramatic. You would not need DRS. You just wouldn't, but it would. It's like give it a go just to see. Also, just to compare the lap times of the hypercars, I think would be fun. Uh, and the Nordschleife, uh, do some test runs, but you can't race there because it's too narrow. Um, FP1 will. Uh, I don't really watch his videos much, so I don't. I haven't seen m enough of his content to have much of an opinion. But I know that he does. He, he does like comedy stuff. A, lo a lot of it's IndyCar, I think, isn't it? But yeah, I don't. I, I don't watch many F1 YouTubers. That's the thing anymore. Um, I watch them if they're going to be like a guest on the podcast. So I need to have some. If I've never heard of them, so I need to know what they're about and stuff. Um, but otherwise, I don't watch that much F1 content anymore. <laughs> oddly enough. Um, Two of those, uh, Christ. Um, that and then that. These are the ones where if I get this wrong, they're never coming apart. <laughs> um, Oh, that's the way it goes on. Okay. This is looking like these are going to become headlights, I'm thinking. Have you been to, into F1 since a young age? Um, uh, I've been watching it fully, full time, so to speak, since 2008. As a kid, I knew what it was, but I, and I knew the names of the big drivers, but I didn't, I only watched one or two races here and there, but I didn't pay attention to the championship or anything like that. Um, I just knew that Schumacher was winning everything and he drove a red Ferrari. Um, but yeah, to 2008, I've been watching it full time since then. Um, do you think they'd ever actually remove Monaco? Uh, well, I uh, regrettably, I think they would if they, if they could, but they, they never should. I, I get that. Ah, uh, we've got something going on the floor. Uh, please don't roll miles away. Okay, it's just behind me. 
Um, I feel like they would because they'll say it's boring and it's like Saturday is enough justification and we need to we need to try and be in touch with our past and that circuit it still has so much to offer it's the, like the cars are the issue if they could just make them smaller and even if people were just maybe a bit more aggressive like I just hate this in first stint and they're like oh the leader's going too slow tell them to speed up it's like well here's a thought it's a race so pass them maybe that's an option but no that would ruin your tyres wouldn't it um And then we need this, right? Biggest, one of the bigger pieces so far. Uh, one of these, which goes, oh God, this is confusing. Um, this is, I think this is the whole assembly for the headlights. Um, uh, I just set my glasses off because it's dazzling. No, no, that's making no difference. Um, uh, two of these, which go on the ends like that. There's one uh, long seat bench thing piece. Two of these go in the middle. And the other one is here. Uh... What, did you, what was worse, 2020 Williams or 2020 Haas? The, 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 the 21 Haas was worse. There was a bigger gap to the field. Um, the 2020 Williams... Didn't they outscore Haas? Um, but yeah, no, the 21 Haas was not good, great. Are you into WC? No, not really. I got this as a Christmas present. Um, but I I watch Le Mans, but I don't watch, I don't watch any of the other endurance races and I, I keep track of it in that I know what's going on roughly because a lot of XF1 drivers do it um, and that same goes for IndyCar I mean I do I do watch IndyCar and Formula E more but again a lot of it is because of because there's names I recognize um One of these, another little corner piece like this. I shouldn't really be struggling to find pieces anymore because there's not much left. Um, oh, fuck it. Out comes the bag. I'm assuming that there's no spares and that I meant to use everything up at some point. Um, uh... How big is the set? Quite big. I mean, I've done this much, and I think that's a little over halfway. Um, there's quite a few pieces left, as you can see. Uh, where is it? Just need one. Of, just needs to look like this. Let's get the bags out of the way. Um, Uh, there it is. Good. Okay. Did you like the revised 2020 calendar? Uh, well, well I, I'm I'm ple I'm happy that they made something that worked and they managed to get a bit of a hodgepodge calendar. And it just it, it kind of shows that there were some circuits. Of, oh, so if you have to, we can race there rather than having endless races in the Middle East. Um, but it was just very very strange. The main thing that annoys me is the 2020 cars are the fastest cars we've ever we've ever had, and because we had that unconventional. Um, grit calendar. There are loads of circuit. There are loads of older cars you can't compare them to because we didn't race in a lot of circuits like Suzuka and um, Albert Park and places like that. That's the main thing that annoys me a bit. Um, yeah. Oh, that goes another way around. Ooh, 
that's satisfying, but it looks... Oh, it's just the bar. Oh, that's the brake light. Yeah. Uh, and that just attaches onto the back. Um, I think like so. Yeah, yeah, we got ourselves a, we got rear light and diffuser on the back now. Um, two little corner ones, and those look like they go on there. Is very is everyone going to brace a Vietnam? No, I think that that the moment's gone. Um, it's an interesting circuit. I mean, in the game, it's I find it extremely annoying to drive on. Um, and I feel like even though it's a bit of a random place to choose, we should have given it a go, just even if we only raced there once. But yeah, I don't think they're going to go back to Vietnam anytime soon. I can't, I, can't, I can't name a single Vietnamese driver on top of my head. I mean, there aren't many from Southeast Asia, but definitely not, not Vietnam. Uh, these the, all, all the decals are lopsided, but I'm too I'm not coordinated enough to do them properly. Um, where's the other one? There's two. Of, it's the biggest piece left, and I can't see it. Um, uh, do you think Alan Frost is better than Hamilton Schumacher? I'm going to say yes. I think Prost is better than most drivers. He came within 10 points of winning eight championships. Um, I definitely think he's better than Senna. You know, controversial opinion and all, but yeah. How have I? How can I not see the biggest piece left to find? Oh, it's one piece. This is the, the shark fin, isn't it? Yeah, that's why. Oh, that's lined up perfectly on that side. It's just a bit lopsided on the other one. Um, now it's looking like a car with the shark fin. Um, got that. Two of these together. Uh, Senna or Alonso, who was faster? Senna. I think in terms of raw race pace, Senna is one of the, well, in terms of quality pace, certainly Senna was one of the best. Um, I think again, Al Alonso is just so smart about everything. Like he's really just so well-rounded, not good for development, but he just knows, put him in a good car and he'll drive it like no other. Um, do you think Steb still has one more season in him? Um, I, I think the moment has gone. For him to come back, it would take it would take a whole year probably just to adjust to it. And it would he would only want to come back if he had a good car. But by the time 26, by Audi, he'll be 39, 38, 39. Um, I don't know if he... Yeah. He would only want to come back if he had a really good car. Um, oh, I was only meant to wait, make one of those. Okay, I'll take the other one off for the moment. Um, right. Oh, this looks a bit different. Um, two, one of those, one of those. What car do you have in real life? Um, I don't. I'm looking to buy one soon. Um, 
it'll be something like a goal for a polo just a small hatchback um i before because until then i've been driving well before i moved out i was driving my parents car so a ford fiesta and a peugeot 207 so nothing too special i did i did that track day um there's the video of me doing the single seater i did the thrux and i got to drive a porsche cayman and that was a lot of fun um Uh, one of these with a decal. Oh, Christ. number 15. With the little cart driver number on it. Again, lopsided. On that goes. Um, okay. Uh, get something like Cupra Leon. Those are quite old, aren't they? They're in GT4. I want something a bit newer than that. I'm looking at a second-hand car that may be about 10 years old. That's within my my budget. Um, something that will run perfectly well for me, too. Uh, also, I, it, you, because I, I don't want to just make videos in my room forever, I do want to go out and do, like... I, I eventually I need to transition away to making co to, into making content where I'm visiting circuits and museums and team factories if I could uh and obviously for that I would need a car uh, so that that gives me that kind of freedom as well um Honda, Toyota Corolla. I mean, anything like that. I mean, my first thought was just a goal for a Polo because they're just popular and you know they run well. But mo most hot hatches, or well, not hot hatch. I don't. I don't need. I'm not going to buy a GTI because expensive and also the insurance would be a nightmare. Um, but yeah, just something, just a simple run around thing. I don't drive that much and I don't drive very far when I do, so it doesn't need to. Yeah, I'm not going to be commuting every day. Um, Uh, now I'm confused. That goes, this is confusing. Um, that and then wedge somewhere. Th yep, that there um, goes on up here. And then a little one of these. God, there are so many pieces on this thing. Um, ah. No, don't all start falling apart on me. Um, uh, Fiesta or Focus. Yeah, something like that. I could be persuaded by one of the newer Fiestas or courses. Uh... Okay, we got that. Now we've got three piece. Um, one of these goes up along there. Now that I can see all the remaining parts, this is so much easier. Uh, hybrids are mad expensive compared to non-hybrid. Yeah, I don't. I don't need a hybrid. I want to get an automatic, even though I, you know, I can drive manual. But I prefer an automatic. Um, but they're, they're actually surprisingly easy to find because I think now automatics are a lot more reliable and they're becoming a lot more popular just because they're so easy to drive. Um, right. Uh, nope. Other, other one. This. One of these. Ugh, panels. More decals. Um, 17, 10, and 11. Mini Metro. Oh, we had one. 
Or you know, we had a Rover Metro once, and I didn't like as like when I was a kid, and I didn't enjoy that car. Ah, these are so fiddly. Uh, Yeah, one thing I would tear about, fight about when I get my first car is, unless it's a diesel, I guess, I've never refueled a car, like, or by myself, so that's going to be an interesting first experience. I'm terrified that I'll put the wrong pe the wrong petrol in, because obviously, if I, if I know, yes, I've definitely got a diesel, so it, you need diesel, but there's two different, you get like four star and unleaded, don't you, for normal petrol. That's just one of those things. It's stupid, really. I mean, I've, I've had my license for six years, but... I don't drive that often and only short distances. So, yeah. But, you know, just need it for my independence. Um, I, uh, what football club do you support? I don't. Um, I don't follow club football much. Um, I, I, I mentioned earlier in the stream that I used to have some work with Spurs. Um, and so I kind of nominally supported them. Before that, I kind of supported Villa because my family are all on my mum's side are all Villa fans because they're from Birmingham um but yeah I don't I don't I, I I love the World Cup and the Euros but I don't follow like the Premier League or anything like that um that clips on and this goes on here yeah that goes on the front um and then a little one of those into there and this whatever this is is fair enough what's your current mental state um uh, concentrating maybe is the word or trying not to get too sidetracked um okay so that goes on oh that's meant to be like the exhaust that little hinge i think that's what that's meant to be um now we switch this around why is it making me do... It's not making me make thing, build it symmetrically. That's kind of a pain. Um, what would be something you would absolutely need if you get a new car? Um, well, other than being affordable, my biggest priority is that it's a safe... I feel safe driving it. Um, yeah. That's the main thing, to be honest. I don't need... Like, if I'm just... If it's just a car to get me to A to B, I don't need to have some posh sports car or anything like that. I can do track days if I want. If I want to, you know, cure that itch. Um, but, yeah. It just needs to run well, and, and I, I want to feel safe and comfortable driving it. that oh and now we are doing the other side so decals again may i say just f1 car for safety yeah it's a shame they're illegal but obviously it, it is ironic really that you know i think a lot of people would be quite scared driving one when they are probably the safest cars you can you can think of um yeah Oh, these are well, the bloody decals. Um, safety, it's really, yeah, other driver's actions. Yeah, I know. In, in most cases, if you yourself are a safe driver, sometimes you can't, there's sometimes you you just can't help think what other people are doing. But I, I suppose I take solace that we, you know, obviously we had to be careful about 
accidents and other people's driving but at the end of the day in the grand scheme of things accidents are rare and in my family nobody's ever we, we, i think there's been uh well my mum bumped into somebody in a car park once and then me and dad a van rear-ended that ra reversed into us that was reversing into a t-junction it didn't see us but we've never had like any proper crashes so um anything serious that required like hospitalization or anything um Dash cam is a must have. Yeah, my parents have those, so I'll I'll make sure I'll get a dash cam. Because yeah, you do need those. For any dodgy incidents like that. Uh oh no no shit. Not meant to put that on yet. Um that uh, this one. And then on there tiny little round thing and on we go bam that's good that's looking we got an engine cover and some exhausts good um do you have any brand bias for cars um I like German cars in general. Like I've said, a Volkswagen and a Golf. I like, you know, Audi, Merck, not so much BMW. Those are all good. Not not French cars are all right. I wish that we had more British, like, ordinary cars. We tend to only make sports cars now. Um, American cars are cool, but also just not that well built. That's the thing. But then that's why they're so bloody cheap. Um, uh. Hello, Snock the Sock. Uh, you've joined when this is kind of getting going because it took a while to get... It was hard to find pieces at the beginning and it took a while to get this going. But we're most... Probably about 75% of the way there, I'd say, at least. We're finishing this. Uh, they've been going for nearly three hours now. So, yeah, no time for Google Earth today, unfortunately. Um... Skodas, yeah. I mean, well, the thing is, I can, um, I'm can. i limited by the fact that I need to find a car that's at a dealer's that's nearby because I need somewhere that I can either walk to or get on a bus if I want to actually try one. So I, that that limits... I can't just say, oh, I want this model, and then if there's none within a few miles of me, it's like, well, then I can't get that. Um, so I need to take that into account. That's one of the issues of, you know, not having a car is that it makes it difficult to find to physically find one. Uh, oh, I probably wasn't meant to do this, but I'm on autopilot. I'm sure that's the I'm meant to do that. Uh, yeah, those on there, and then this one on here. Oh, the rear wing. You got ourselves a rear wing. What dealers you have either? I mean, I've looked it up. I mean, there's well, there's a but there's a mixture of there is a Volkswagen dealer that's walking distance, but they sell cars that are like twenty grand. Um, I haven't looked at bus routes, but I'll look at that once I actually decide. Yes, I have to get a car now. And if but most of them are in just not that near. There are like garages and stuff, but um, yeah, it's all it's 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 quite. I've been asking for help from my family with this because obviously buying a car it can be a quite a complicated process. Um, so I just want to make sure I'm doing everything in the right order because you have to talk, sort out tax and get it insured and blah, blah, blah. And you know, it's a nightmare. Um, we got a spoiler. Now, it, yeah, it's really... I think that's the whole rear end of the car finish now. Uh, oh, Christ. Okay. This is a lot of small pieces. Um, Favourite Formula 1 season you watch Race to Race? Uh, 2012. Easy. Yeah. I wish we could just have that over and over again. 
it just hit it just it got i mean a lot of the races were actually not that good but there were enough really good ones and it was really competitive that was what made it really great yeah marketplace i'm using like auto i've been mostly looking on like auto trader and those kind of websites because they will inspect the car as well for you just to make sure that you're not being conned um and it's easier it's more streamlined in terms of getting insurance as well so that's the main way but i've, I've only i mean i was looking at this before christmas and then when i came back here afterwards but then i had to get into getting videos done but so i it's finding a window to um actually commit to that and go and just go and get one um i'm very good at procrastinating <laughs> And because in my day-to-day -day life, I don't I don't leave the house much except to go food shopping, so I don't need it necessarily for that. It's just for uh, getting home to see my family. I do because there have been lots of problems of getting home recently because of train strikes and weather disrupting things like that. So yeah, it'd be good to be done with trains for once. Uh, I I don't want a new car; it's too expensive. I'm get I want a used one. I'm looking at something like five six grand about 10 years old would be perfectly fine as my first car um uh, don't get a german i like german cars though like i think they're good This is really intricate, whatever this piece is that I'm making. Um, it's, oh, it's meant to be one of the lights. Um, and it attaches like so. I love this. This is look. This looks really cool now. Um, Okay, it doesn't want me to do that again yet, I don't think. And uh, then we do the same on the other side. Okay. Um, that and that. Oh, if I can be done by six, that'd be good, but we'll see. Uh, there's, there really isn't... You can see that there's really not that many pieces left. Um, Yeah, on there. Three. Not many stickers left either, so that's that's good. Yeah, because those are a pain in the ass. Um, that goes over. Is the chat still the chat still frozen? Isn't it? I really wish it hadn't done that, but oh well. Normally it normally it resumes again. Uh, maybe it doesn't enjoy me being on full screen all the time. Um, yeah, this, yep, I need that. Um, and then this over there. What is the biggest Lego you've built? Um, I don't remember building many kits as a kid. I just had a big box of random bits of Lego. Um, and I, I once made a scale model of downtown New York City. Um, I think I was like one cube block is the equivalent of 100 feet. And that was how I could work out roughly to get the height of buildings to make that accurate. Because this is when I was really into like architecture and stuff. Um, but I didn't I didn't buy many. This, this Yeah, I got this as a present. It's the first this is the first Lego I've played with in maybe 20 years. Uh Okay, that looks really cool. They've got the lights on the back now. Um, decals! Yay! This Porsche. Right. Um, get this one accurately. That's going to be a nightmare. Oh, close enough. Um, uh, 
There's a Lego Mercedes 2021 F1 car, which is similar size to what you're currently building, and it comes as a bundle with the Mercedes Project One. We recommend doing it on time. Yeah, I think I wouldn't mind. Maybe I'll get like an, an F, some kind of F1 car to build like this. I'd like, and maybe maybe an actual proper model kit, uh, like that isn't Lego of an F1 car. That would be something fun to try, rather than just spending all day sat in front of my laptop, which I'm technically doing now, but in a different way. Um, Okay, how do I visualize that? Goes there. A23. If they do a Lego Arrows A23, I, I, I would buy the shit. Fat. Oh, unless you're talking about cars. Yeah, buy an A23. I mean, the, one of them, as the, as the Minardi, it's on, it's on static display on some cruise ship, also, I think. Some F1 cars, most of them are in museums, but there are some that just turn up in the most random places. It does annoy me that with HRT, because at the end of the video, I, I explain where they all ended up and that, you know, uh, most of them are owned by um, Teo Martin, that Spanish guy. Uh, one of them is owned by Prince Albert III of Monaco. And then there was another one that Pirelli bought and used as a test car, but I can't find any pictures of it. I know they've got a Lotus or a Renault as a, as a tyre test car, but I couldn't find any pictures of the HRT. So maybe that's maybe that's bullshit. But there, there is a there is a chassis to be accounted for somewhere from HRT because of that. Um, all three of these okay why didn't they just make this one one piece instead of three little ones if they just go on like this oh I guess the decals are different oh these three decals this is gonna these are gonna this these are gonna be oh, this is gonna look horrific how much would one cost to be uh do you mean the F1? Well, the Arrows A23, you could legitimately, a, a, a Formula One car without the engine, you could probably buy for less than £100,000 because they come out on auction every so often, cars from that era and, and older. Uh, with the engine, you'd probably like uh, more than 100000 <laughs> Um Lego F2004, God knows. I don't know how much this cost, but yeah. Lego is always more expensive than you. I think it's going to be, but that's because I... Until now, I haven't really played it for a lot with it for a long time. Okay, and then this sticks on the front like so or allegedly it sticks on the front like so okay uh and then this goes on the other side stick that this that i made ages ago thoughts on crofty i oh, can't stand him i I, ge I genuinely can't stand listening to his voice anymore he just has to scream incorrect facts at you like it's yeah i mean he's re it even puts me on edge when when he's doing the the grid the grid lineup the grid roundup and saying where everyone is because he's having to time it to when it changes to the next row and he somehow it's always he some of them he spends so long on one drive and it's like you need to name the other one first um <laughs> But no, he just I, it's just the endless screaming. I just can't bear it. When I have to watch Ray replays to find clips, I just watch them on mute because of him. I was never into Ben Edwards. Jonathan Ledgeard was fine. I didn't watch F1 during the Murray Walker year years. Brundle is fantastic. Uh, I like I love Alex Jakes as well. Those two are my like dream F1 commentary box. Coulthard, his obsession with you know extra hundred kilograms of fuel. He's always doing that. Um, but um, please tell me I haven't put this on the wrong way round. Yeah, put I put that in the wrong way round. Oh, James Allen was. <laughs> it's funny, like God, he was annoying. But now it looked back, and it's actually kind of cool because he has the like, you know, Jensen Button winning, and he has is that Glock, and those are kind of legendary moments now. But like he was. A bit of a pain at the time in the itv days 
I didn't mind ITV's coverage, apart from the adverts. The BBC was so good. That was my... I loved those years of Jake Humphreys, Coulthard, and Eddie Jordan. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, wish we had that back. Uh, more stickers. So the another number. Palmer's doing poetry. Yeah, Palmer, he's supposed to be, his analytics, is, his or analysis, I should say, is supposed to be quite good. I don't watch it much, but he's found himself a good gig since he wasn't the best driver in the world. Didn't he win GP2? And then he was just beyond useless in Formula One. Right, wheel hubs or wheel guards going on like a show. I gotta give my hats off to whoever designed this kit because it's it's really clever. They thought of a really ingenious way of making everything link up. Um oh no, oh no. There it is. Good. I thought we we're missing a piece. Uh maybe not Jack Nichols. Is he a current one? Is he the one... Who was the one that got done for, like, raping someone in, like, Formula E? Was it him? There was somebody or that sexually at sexual assault. One of the Formula E commentators got fired for that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Panels, more more panels uh, on there. I'm watching a man assemble Lego and having the time of my life. Good job, Peter. Have you changed your name again? No, no, no. Sorry, I'm confusing with someone else. I thought you changed your username because the profile picture, but I'm mixing up. But yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's just a way to way to chill out. Um, more fun than just making this by myself. Uh, it is funny what you can get away with, you know. People people will watch basically anything, I find. Um, it, like, you can... It, it, it was mad when people started doing Let's Plays. I was like, people are actually getting paid to play video games. And then you get the ones that do a profession in esports. As a kid, I, that was my dream. I, did, I didn't think it would actually become a thing. Um, obviously for me, I like to think, you know, I like to be informative and entertaining, but there are some stuff, I mean, you see like, you know, um, the kind of tat that people do on TikTok and get paid for. Um, and then obviously there are other websites which offer less uh, family friendly stuff that people will more than pay to see. Um, yeah. What a time to be alive. You can get paid to do pretty much anything these days. Um, if you have something interesting to offer. Um, right, that little see-through bits. Uh, this is oh no, oh no, oh no, that goes, that goes on like that, and then that goes in there. Headlight time, I think. Um, and then that. Esports, yeah. I don't watch. Um, I don't watch like the F one stuff because they set identical lap times and run in a train. It's not, and they don't make mistakes. Um, I still, even though I don't play it anymore, I still watch. I still watch like the League of Legends stuff, and then have to try to. Uh, avoid the temptation to re-download it. What's for dinner tonight? Um, 
Uh, probably uh, I'll do something like some rice with like white wine sauce and bits of corn in it, something basic. I'm not much of a cook. Um, I eat a mixture of just pasta, chips and something frozen going thrown in the oven or just rice with some kind of sauce and something basic. I'm not, I'm not one of these people that makes things from scratch and, you know, cuts up vegetables and does all of that. I should, but I, I don't. Um, another life skill I really should have picked up probably when I was at uni, how to cook. Uh, let him cook. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, that goes on the other way around. Something very fiddly again here. Last two. Oh, only a couple of decals to go now. Number two, number two, number two, number two. Veggie, yes, I am veggie. I'm not vegan, but I am vegetarian. Uh, so I still I still eat lots of milk and cheese and that. Well, I say eat milk. Obviously, something's wrong with the milk if you're eating it rather than, you know, drinking it. Um, One dollar microwave chicken pot pie is good. Yeah, I want to. I try. I mean, I want to be a little healthy. I do. I try to avoid microwave meals and ready meals because they're like super processed. Even when I'm feeling lazy. Um, and that is meant to go over there, but is just not going over there. How does that? What have I done wrong? That's on the wrong way round. That's why. Um, Ooh, okay. Uh, phones buzzing at me. Is anything important? No. Uh, same thing again on the other side, yeah. Toyota Prius, perfect car. Yeah, I don't want a Prius. I want something at least vaguely interesting. Um, I don't want, like... A, a mum car or something. A golf is fine. Plenty of guys in their 20s and 30s just have a golf or a polo, and that's perfectly fine. Um, next page. I'm looking at the same bloody page again. Um, I wasn't meant to do it. Well, we know that's going. Those can stay together. Uh that and that oh these are the wing mirrors <laughs> i think yeah um And then this, which I'd already half done. Okay. Uh, um, I am strangely uncoordinated for somebody who nearly became a professional bassoonist. Uh, can't make my hands work with this. This doesn't line up fully. I feel like these are meant to fit better, but they just don't. A say out, yeah. Well, they're not, they're harder to find. That's the thing. A golf can you can find a golf anywhere. Um, and again, I'm limited by whatever's within a uh, whatever I can find in a dealership that's you know accessible to me uh, from the wonders of public transport. Oh, that looks really good. I think that's that's almost everything now except the wheels, pretty much. Um, still some more stickers. Oh, which I haven't put on. Oh, I was meant to put those on.
How many years of content creation do you have on yourself? Um, let's let's look in like five year intervals. Um, if in five years I'm still just doing stuff like making stuff in my room, I think that's not good. I I would hope that by then I would be actually you know doing more stuff with other people or creating a sort of bit of a media empire or business rather than just depending on YouTube still. Uh, I don't know to be honest because I know this it was never my plan to do YouTube. It was a hobby and then it ended up becoming a job because the, the money was better and my music career was always very touch and go if that was going to happen or not. And I was like, I need money fast and this is, you know, there's a lot of perks to doing this. Um, yeah. But in 10, in 10 years, I mean, something involving, I don't think I'd be a good pundit but sort of journalism or just writing about it or going to like the festival of speed and making like documentaries about formula one that sort of thing is what i'm thinking um stuff that gets me out of the house basically right at long last we got the wheels to do i think that might be everything because i've still got a couple of bits here which i haven't touched i think those are spares um Unless I've just been missing things, skipping and missing things. Although everything looks symmetrical. Um, right. Oh, I think I can... Cho can I choose the... There's two... It looks like there's two different types of wheel hub. So maybe I can choose... I can, yeah, mix and match. Um... Okay, that just goes on like that. That's easy enough. Yeah, I think these are spares. They're just a bit random kind of spares to have, but whatever. Uh, two. And yeah, it looks like there's two different sets of wheel rims you can use if you want as well. Uh Oh, now it wants us to take that off. Uh, let's put the guy in. Okay, that's interesting. You can't then put the cover on. Unless I just haven't pushed it down hard enough. Um, will we have time for one or two circuit designs? Uh, I don't think so, because it's past six now. Um, I might do that tomorrow. We'll see. Or maybe just in midweek rather than waiting for weekends. Um, if I start that, I'll get stuck on it for ages and, and that. Uh, will you do any more content with the bassoon? Yes, um, I do want to do the same thing I did before. Uh, every national anthem for every champion. Because uh, a lot of people are like, I wish we could hear the Italian one. It's like, well, you will hear it in that one. Yeah, I'll find a window when I can, you know... I learned a lot from recording it the first time because it was a bit of a nightmare um, about doing that as well. Um, and then we can get that done too at some point. But the last video, it was fun to make, but it didn't do very well for views, which is kind of a shame. Um There, yeah. ooh, we're done. Uh, oh no, nearly that wasn't a good idea. F1 themes of bassoon, yeah, copyright. I can't do that. Um, I'll get done for copyright. I can do national anthems because they're all old. More iceberg, yes, there will be another iceberg. Haven't started it yet, but that will come at some point. But yeah, here we are. It it's a bit smaller than I thought it would be. It looked bigger on the box, but it looks pretty cool. I think.
I like the lights on the back. Um, and it, yeah, it goes. It doesn't steer, but that's, that's fun. That's cool, yeah. And only took three hours. Um, I'll need to find somewhere to put that up on the shelf, just on display or something, and hope it doesn't roll off in the middle of the night. Uh, Damn, what a nice prototype. I sure hope it doesn't have any reliability problems during a 24-hour race. Is it Porsche where they were leading a couple of years ago? They broke down on, like, the last lap or something? Or was that was that um, the other one? Toyota. The uh, That's the other one. Yeah, I get all the, the Le Mans mixed up. I know that, obviously, last year Italian Jesus won it, but, yeah, because I don't pay enough, close enough attention. Oh, no, this doesn't quite go on. I thought it clips it on at the front. It clips on the front, but not quite. It doesn't fit with the helmet. And that's what I don't want to push it too hard in case the whole thing breaks. Uh, but whatever. Yeah, we'll just put the cover on. It goes. It just about clips on. Mm. I love. There's even a sticker for the fuel outlet there as well. That's that's just a nice touch. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, uh, I'll call it a day there. Um, yeah, they do never fit. Uh, so yeah, that was that was good fun. Um, we'll do, as I said, maybe tomorrow I'll do a Google Earth one, um, but I'll people seem to enjoy that, um, but it depends if I, yeah. Maybe I just want a day off. We'll see. Um, but yeah, and then we'll do at some point um, in approximately a month, I guess I'll hit... 30,000 subscribers, uh, and so then I'll do a tier list special for that as well. Um, but yeah, may or may not see you, see you tomorrow, but yeah, thank you for tuning in, and uh, yeah, we'll see you around.